Ladies and gentlemen of Dice and Fire, welcome to Titan's Edge, episode 13. Mm, wow. Crazy. We getting there, it's guys. Yeah. You made some big accomplishments. You beat some scary things, and you're still alive to this day. Well, five of you are still alive to this day. We, we lost mm -hmm. one person, but... We don't yeah. talk about it. If you're just joining us today, then don't worry about it. You never need to know. No, no. We don't talk about Shydog. <laughs> oh, no, no. We I don't, don't even know who right. he is. <laughs> <laughs> who are you talking about? And actually, I guess you got an extra person now that Chorix joined the group, so. Yeah, Chorix! Lose one, gain two. Mm -hmm. True. Exactly. Fair deal. And one gives piggybacks, so. No. True. I True. don't know if Chorix is going to give a lot of piggybacks with his <laughs> bum leg now. After having his calf muscle ripped out, but you know it's fine. Yeah, we'll fix relatable chork. Yeah. <laughs> oh my god! Can you chork a peg leg. <laughs> Look, Please he, don't do that. He to pumped my a lot of buddy. healing into him, so he's got a working leg. But he's yeah. also an NPC, so when something that bad happens to his leg, <laughs> it's gonna have lasting damage. Yeah. What is it? He's not what a player is, character is... where one heal cures everything. Yeah, my leg is healing perfectly fine. No, we gotta cut it off. We gotta cut it off. We gotta get rid of it. <laughs> what is the D and D quote? Not everyone in this world has superhuman powers or magic or super physical skills. Some people are just normal. Mm -hmm. And you know, he's a, he's a tough dude, but you know, it's you guys are are leveling up, as as seems apparent. So that's true. In fact, I know that today we very likely will also level up. Oh my god, I forgot about leveling what up. What if I just lied to you and I don't give you a level today? That's not nice. That's I mean, really unfortunate. You, you, I would say you'd really be lying to us because that is what you said last session. It just means that you maybe changed your mind and that would be totally okay because we accept that as your players. And your I idea. don't accept that. We're totally not yeah, I was going to say, time for you're it. really speaking for yourself. Right. <laughs> Try it. <laughs> I'm still new. I have to make sure I don't get kicked out of this group with. before it's too late. You know, I gotta, I gotta be respectful to the DM, right? Remember, right, remember, right. Yep. it's five against one. Which side are you gonna choose, huh? You're siding with the, the, the crowd or the dungeon master now? I'm just saying, I live in the same house as him, so I can just go beat him up for all of us. <laughs> You're injured. You can't beat me up. I don't know. No, 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 no. Is that a challenge? Is that a threat? You shouldn't beat me. I is that shouldn't. a threat because I hope it is? Right. My knee is in bothering front. me really bad, but I will walk in there. I will hobble in there if I have to. I'll push Guys, you over. In front of us and everyone watching, it's not a threat. It's a promise. <laughs> <laughs> Certainly possible. <laughs> well, I guess. Starting a little late, so might as well get into things. Does anyone want to give us the recap? Should we roll for it? Should I just take over? Uh, uh on, roll I got it. notes. We fought so... Big Snake. Okay. Well, you, you took notes and did it last time. I everyone roll me a D nine. <laughs> I remember it. A D nine. A D nine. Nine. Which can't physically exist. I almost but... rolled in the yes yeah, so Twitch roll. chat. RD9. And the lowest will have to do it. Oh, uh, well. <laughs> I love saying it after we get How started. How are you finding these are you denials? Me? I don't remember what happened. <laughs> you have to type it we in chat. Oh, slash R <laughs> space. Oh, I see. I was yeah. so confused. I was like, what the heck? Where is this coming from? <laughs> Again, D9 doesn't <laughs> exist in the room. Oh, the game doesn't favor me today. Sorry, you did it last and I time. are tied. All right, no, Kayla. we have to do it. To, we have to do right. it together. A roll off. Yeah, I was gonna say D a roll D off. D5s. Yeah. Okay. D5s. Oh no. <laughs> Who will be the better K today? D7 and a half. I rolled a three again. Okay. Oh! All right. Wait, we are the D3s. Fact that we're both oh, me right now. Hold on. Okay. D3. Mm -hmm. One. Oh god. I it all comes down hate. to this. Okay. I'm ready for this. Let's see here. Oh, oh no. so close. And um, just for the proof, there it is. Mm -hmm. Okay, well, so I don't what really. Um, Last time well, on Titan's so Edge, we were just finishing up a battle fighting uh, egg baby things that I don't even remember what they were. Um, 
<clears throat> uh, what's his name? Iggy found an old friend of his that was very dead. Um, and then we all got in a minecart and we went room. Um, and then, um, Rex was sassy. Uh, what else happened? Um, and then... <laughs> There was oh there was a break in the rail and then we had to we had to hop out wick was like pew, pew, and then stabbed uh the thing uh the mine cart and 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 it stopped really abruptly and then we stopped there for a second and um we fixed it with like a lot of money worth of rods and um anemone did that but it probably wasn't great but uh, anyways so they fixed it, but then they decided, well, we're tired. Um, I guess we could stay here and sleep. So, um, they, they slept and, um, uh, then they were in a bubble and the big worm, big mama worm came and was like, <coughs> and then we were all like, <coughs> and then we were all like, oh no, we're getting eaten by a worm. And then when we were inside the worm, um, the shield went down and we were all like pew 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 and I just spit everywhere and then um the 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 worm it barfed also us spit. out yeah it it spit us out just like I spit everywhere but the worm spit us out um and then we fought it more and eventually it ran away after it knocked Iggy and then uh people killed it and we all healed and now we're yeah. heading towards the exit of the Titan. Good job. Thanks, That's basically Anemone. what happened. <laughs> I feel I was, like I remembered a lot for the, my you, memory. You pretty, you pretty much covered everything I, I think had the in details notes. were all there. The delivery was more close to in character, really. So that's desirable yeah. as well. <laughs> Definitely it's definitely not how Kay would usually explain things like that at all. I think uh, the beginning was a little out of order when we got there. <laughs> <laughs> Anemone is Never basically mind. just me, so... So after placing their immovable rods throughout the Titan, <clears throat> overcoming many challenges, our group finally finds a moment of victory where not but a few moments ago, they were inside the throat of a giant worm, which is inside the throat of a giant titan, yeah. with a burp inside God, their so own shit. throats, <laughs> releasing just as they were released out of the giant worm, uh. defeating it against all odds. They were able to advance forward, placing the last few rods in this titan, and we return to see our group of Titans Watch emerging from the mouth of the great titan Fulminox. <clears throat> Did we just get thrown up by the titan? I uh, think that we went through the reverse operations that many others have gone through before us. Well, so I don't know if it would be throw up because, like, it wasn't forceful. Like, we just left. Like, if he had, like, his mm. bodily fluids like pushed us out of his body then like probably would have been so he up. coughed us up maybe sure he simply just walked out of the mouth like a spider mm -hmm. to clarify you're still kind of in the mouth but you can see the exit so if there's any last things you'd like to do whilst you're still in the titan feel free I want to look around big teeth there is some big teeth like rock structures where previously in this cave you've seen many a stalagmite and stalactite these ones you can find on either side of you probably hundreds of feet apart reaching up dozens of feet into the air some up to a hundred feet high those are some big jumpers would not want to be between those well, we kind of are a little bit. I mean, like, like, like. Oh, I, 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 I. yeah. Uh, Understandable. Uh, they are, I think that if you are between them, you wouldn't realize it until uh, the last moments. Mm. So. Alexander, a bird is attacking our camera. That makes sense. <laughs> 
checks out. Aggressive move. Yep. Oh. <laughs> I don't know put... what it thinks it's doing. <laughs> they might have a nest above it. I'm going to put like a tiny peg out there and a little food bowl just so we can stare at birds as they sit there. That specific Ooh. camera is funny because it's definitely Velcro taped to the wall. Mm -hmm. <laughs> it's just to a concrete stone wall piece right there. So it's just, I couldn't <laughs> drill it in or anything. It doesn't fall. So. My grandfather did that. He bought us matching bird <clears throat> feeders so I can put one in my um, background or, or background backyard and my cat's going to watch it. Nice. <laughs> Anyway, as you've all gotten a large amount of your hit points back after, you know, being partially dissolved in stomach acid of a giant worm, mm -hmm. you've managed to follow through the minecart and uh, get it towards the exit. <clears throat> you still have bodies, I assume, to be floating on a uh, magical disc. At the moment within the cart. And your new orc companion, Chorik, limping behind you. Uh, it's weird saying some daylight. <laughs> Haven't really yeah. had a chance to look at it pretty closely the last year. And in this moment, you can actually see for one of the first times in a long time you can see the clouds parting in just a couple places and natural sunlight coming through where previously this this land has been in full cloud cover stop it <laughs> i just discovered it and it's fun you're making little things pop up on michael's camera so can you chill <laughs> How am I doing that? It pops up in the bottom left corner this of Discord when you spam those. <laughs> so. Oh, it does. <laughs> <laughs> I think it might be cut off in the way I have it cropped, but even so. No, I can see oh. it on the stream. Uh, yep, yep. I think. <laughs> yeah, yeah, just a little bit. <laughs> it's it's just beautiful. A goat one? Okay. <laughs> oh, okay, I'll stop. Animal. I'll stop for now. <clears throat> But yes, the light is just barely gleaming down before you. Um, so, who do we need to talk to again? What's his name? So many people. We need to talk to uh, the foreman or whatever mm -hmm. his name was. Is that There's... the that said at one point? I need to talk to Goat Meal. That's yes, fine. yes. You can talk you to, talk to Goat Meal. I believe and, letting Sparkelius uh, know that we're all right would be a good Sparkelius. idea, too. Probably heading for his uh, abode would be the most uh, logical. Uh, okay. Yeah, we were down situation. there for a long while. Yes. A been... couple days. We had, like, yes, often. two, maybe one day until we got to go. Like Yes, back. we have uh, very little time until the turtle boat returns. Um... We should clear up the remaining issues here and get a move on. Head back to Titan's Wash. And let them know. Sounds easy enough. <clears throat> that the mission is complete. True. It would be good hmm? to meet up with the person who sent us on this mission again. Oh, yes, I don't remember his so name. So you can yell at them? Why would I need to yell at them? I have no reason to yell at. Dear Giovanni, he did nothing wrong. I just need to make sure that he understands that he may have sent some highly underqualified people to go on this expedition. And the fact that you know. remember his name, but none of us do, is really sad on our part. You know, when you only have so much information in your head, like I do, you just focus oh. on that, and that's about it. I don't have a whole lot of information in my head either, I'll tell you that much. Certainly, we have only spoken to uh, Dejano for like uh, maybe all of an hour and a half. So, you know, it is hard to form any kind of bond with such a short period of time. In my lifetime, for you, that is uh, long. For me, that is mere seconds in comparison. Hmm. So, 
Regardless, we should speak to the foreman. He will be happy to hear that the mama is dead. And that he can return to his... Maybe unethical practices. Uh, as well as... Spokelius. And, you know, maybe a day's worth of rest. We've been through a lot. That'd rest be good. Would be nice. I could use some time alone. Yeah. <sighs> Jork, are you excited to see the outside world again? <sighs> Suppose so. You got a wife to go back to? Or no. to see? Me and my son came here to get away from everything. Now it's just us, so. Well, you're not alone, my friend. I will be by side for as long as you'll have me. Same to you. You know, there was an orc woman back in the town, sold armor. I think Rex had the hearts for her, but uh, that is. That boat has sailed? Shrek? I can be your wingman, Rex. I don't think I caught that name. I think that ship has already sailed as much of a lovely lady as she is. <laughs> I don't think you have much of a choice. I you can see Chork kind of just like give almost a grumpy look towards Rex's direction. <laughs> Somebody's jealous. Is that your wife? No. Do you have a wife? Oh. No, she she died back home. That's sad. Yeah. Where's home? <sighs> Cross the sea. Cross the sea and Fernum's rest. Fernum's rest. Hmm. Most of you would what? recognize that to be the uh, land of the fire titan. Where? Gosh. Yeah, no, that makes sense. That yeah. tracks. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> Isn't it spicy there? Defined spicy. Well, <laughs> isn't it like, I don't, there's a, it's hot fire. Burn. Not as hot as the tempers of the locals. So it's spicy. Oh, it's spicy. I get it. I don't want to go there. I do not think I understand. The elders back at uh, my tribe used to make this very spicy stew-like dish. Used uh, chilies from around uh, the world. I believe she means spicy, not in the literal sense. Well, is, is there a non-literal sense to spicy? I'm pretty confused. Like spicy. That is not clear a single thing up, frankly. Clearly, you spent um, most of the books. From what like, I know in a dwarvish language, spicy is similar to hot. So I can see where well, there's some sort of connection between the words. I just mean like it's like on fire. I don't know. Parts of it. I mean, quite spicy. I would assume your friend might know a few more things about it. Which one? He looks over to Rex. I kind of just like look down, kind of like ignore the comment. Uh, looks like he certainly does in that case. I take it you got away same as I did. And Rex is just still <laughs> silent. He won't answer. I don't know what you guys are talking about, but I want to go see goat meal. Okay. Yeah. Well. Lead the way, then. Trust all of you know the fastest way back. I nope. can sniff it out. Nope. This is the first time you've been. To None the of head. you have been there. Yep. Yeah. <laughs> well, this is the first time we're at the head, frankly. And then well, he starts walking in a random way. direction and says, "It's this way." Is it that way? <laughs> um, if anyone would like to make a survival check to try to gauge oh, what direction yeah. they're going. Sure. Well, In this land, it's not crew. a traditional uh, survival definitely check because you be. don't see necessarily the good direction of the sun to guide you. 
Let me um, do, also directions. do a survival check. Obviously, I no actually, stars. Well, oh, oh, they have wow. good survival because <laughs> she's <laughs> druid. She's a yeah, yeah. <laughs> druid. Yeah, true. So and she's just like, oh, we're going this actually, way. And everyone's like, despite it being an anemone, she might actually know what she's talking about here. <laughs> on one hand, we're like, do we trust anemone? On the other hand, kind of technically is a nature spirit of some form. <laughs> the satyr so she might know <laughs> it's a real real toss-up she might know where she's leading us astray is the question but anemone is absolutely trusting but we're all like 50 50. you like... have to realize too anemone is trying to get back to goat meal so she's not going to lead y'all astray when it comes to him anemone, 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 anemone. Anemone, anemone. do you all follow anemone yeah i'd say so yeah. I'm yeah, sure. too. too tired it's not, <laughs> it's not the question <laughs> All right. So you travel through this area, which seems to be slightly different from the uh, hind side of the Titan. This end appears that it was struck by many more lightning bolts throughout its time. There's different bits across the land who, which are scarred by burns. Some where the sand has turned to more of a normal glass. And there's less trees, less foliage but still the same rocky, mountainous terrain you've come to be used to on this island. As you travel, the sun begins to once again hide back behind the clouds. The occasional glimpse of lightning illuminates everything you can see. Mm. But you continue forward. A light rain starts to fall. But you get the sense that you're moving in the right direction. Before, before too long, you begin to recognize some of the area that you've been before. Familiar terrains. The same scent of ozone on the wind. And in the distance, you can see the very same town which you met Sparkelius at. Well, it seems an enemy. You indeed were correct on where we needed to go. Oh. I'm really good at knowing directions. I'll keep that in mind. Do you want a reward for having taken us this far? We need to back, Ryan. You're my favorite. She very ungracefully climbs up onto Iggy's back. <laughs> I'm ready. All right. And he starts tromping. He's like marching fast. He's like rushing his way up there. You can see Chorik keeping up. And he uh, gestures towards you, Ignatius. How long did you say it was since you were last here? Yeah, well, it's been a good number of months. I'd say uh, at least over half a year. Admittedly, I... The time frame's still a bit sketchy, but it's it's been a bit. I understand. It's been a little longer for me. How long? <sighs> Felt like months before you arrived. Well, I suppose we'll find out when we see what the data is when we get inside. I suppose so. I've been late to work. A lot. <sighs> I'd be surprised if you still have that job, friend. You all continue forward. Where would you like to go first? You reach the outer skirts of the town. Mm -hmm. <clears throat> if uh, a couple of you would like to head back <clears throat> to Sparkelius and inform him of uh, our success, I suppose. Me! Uh, Yes, I suppose. Uh, I figured that you would want to go to the home of Kotmil. I was thinking of heading over to the foreman's for the night, letting him know of uh, some success, maybe ease his mind a bit. So, you may join me, you may go back to Spakilis. I do not talk your mind either way. I think it'll be fine. Oh, I'm just going to head over to uh, the overseer or the foreman. I forget what he called himself. Uh, good king here. Um, 
and let him know oh. of the. You speaking definite. about the overseer? Yes, the overseer. I'm going to let him know that the top form is dead. Uh, he's been vanquished, and uh, that he might be able to continue his operations. Sure, I think I'll stay now. with the the others then. Just not let him know. do it all at once. Okay. This is fine. I will not mention your names and appreciate it. Okay. He doesn't like me, so I'm not gonna go. I don't think that he likes me either. That's why I'm going there to begin with. So maybe oh. uh, we can lend a bridge or two. He liked me, but I'm more concerned with seeing goat meal. Yeah, considering he gave me and an enemy all that money last time. Uh... Think maybe Does he even want to see us? Hmm? Does he even want to see us if he gave us all that money to leave him alone? Well, he also thought that his entire life was about to fall apart. I think if we told him that his life was no longer falling apart but it wasn't dead, instead rebuilding itself. Exactly. He might forgive our sins. It was a past. I'll go with you then. Okay. That's his fine. Rex, your babysitting. Who's the I... baby? Great. <laughs> I'll just tap Rex Jumping on the shoulder. I'll, I'll just wrap my arm around Rex's shoulder. But tonight we will find a place of uh, pleasantries and alcohol. All right. Around his shoulder. Ooh! <laughs> Torque looks down at you. Man, you've never been to like wink. college town with the <laughs> frat boys. <laughs> But again, there's nothing I mean, more really, homoerotic looking, than a frat. Whatever light you're Are looking you at frat from, boys, really. though? There's nothing you're... more homoerotic than frat boys, never mind. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, I mean, there's just a lot of different lenses you can look at those behaviors True. from. So. Two frat boys can kiss each other and no blink an eye. It's just bro stuff, you know? Yeah. It's all good. You always gotta kiss Slap each other's butts and, yeah. Yeah, it's just sports, man. Sports. Yeah. You're real bedroom sports. Sometimes it's the, it's go. the boys just need a good roughing up, you know? It's, it's all good. You know? <laughs> just right. say you want to touch each other, God. Yeah. <laughs> Look, I've got to feel affection somehow, okay? <laughs> they, they can't get a touch of a woman, so. Hmm. <laughs> they have to touch each other. <laughs> anyway. Anything to feel something. <laughs> I mean, not wrong. <laughs> but... Anyway. Oh, good. Yeah. So. <laughs> and with that. Uh, <laughs> yeah. Temporary like, part ways. Uh, we'll, we'll start trotting over to the. Uh, so we split the party. The <clears throat> yeah, in the town of safety. We did it, Will. <laughs> so we thought. Very good. Oh, very good, us. Someone's finna die. <laughs> oh, Mike, you should know anyone. I'm gonna speak like this no matter what the outcome's about to be. <laughs> That's true. I know. The amount of bridges I've made this man cross over to no actual detriment whatsoever. <laughs> yeah, yeah, 30 minutes have passed crossing rickety bridges every time. <laughs> what do you but think yeah. I take all the teleportation skills and spells? <laughs> Bye. <laughs> So yes, you all continue into town. The party splits. Who's going um to Sparkelius? We have Chorik, Anemone. Ignatius as well, yeah. I'm staying I, on I might, try to, I might try to sneak off while these two are buddy buddy right now. <laughs> okay. Make a stealth check. Okay. Let's let's see if I can get away from them. <laughs> So I'll roll this nope. in oh. <laughs> oh, where are you going, Rex? Rex goes. Oh. <laughs> Rex sneaks off, but not really. He just walks away. Sparkelius' house is this way. <laughs> do I do I have to come with you two? I guess not. There's nothing holding you to it. Cool. And then he just turns. He just I thought he away. was babysitting. Uh, 
I think he's supposed to, but I guess now that duty belongs to you, Jork. We don't have a baby. I thought they implied you were the baby. <laughs> I am not a baby. Hold on, hold on a second. I, I, uh, I heft you over and I try to wrap you around the other way so I'm carrying you front side instead of being on my back. And I say, <laughs> on a scale of one can, to ten, uh, how much of a baby we, do you feel like? Can we right make now? a baby harness? <laughs> Daddy? Sorry. <laughs> Daddy? <laughs> Sorry. <laughs> if you don't feel like no I baby can, when you manhandle uh, her like that. <laughs> I can be your baby if you want me to be. <laughs> Man, Just we're in the mood tonight. <laughs> this is Chad. This, this is why we do things on Friday night, not Thursday night. <laughs> uh, oh, our our energy for the week hasn't been expended yet, oh, so it's just true. Coming out right now. Ah, ooga, Oh my god. Oh my god. That's funny. Oh. It just braces all of it and we just proceed forward regardless yeah, of what I, the I walked is here. away. I was not about to deal with that. <laughs> so Ignatius is manhandling. Mm -hmm. <laughs> How's that going? Do you really want to play out the rest of the scenes, Isla? I mean, they're walking to Sparkalias. I don't know what you're thinking is happening on here right yeah. now. Like, there's nothing. He's just carrying her. So, so if you're not a child, why do you insist on being carried? Oh, because I don't like walking. He looks down at his leg. <laughs> you, you can see the, the calf muscle greatly disformed oh. after the, the previous <laughs> battles. Chorg, if you want to be picked up, all you have to do is ask. No. <laughs> I'm oh, fine. Man, Suit yourself. No. He, he continues to like have this <laughs> slight limp as he marches forward with you. Proudly. Yes. Wait, hold on. I have a technicality question. Um, where are the bodies? If oh, we're that's dying, a great question. Thank no. you. Walking to the, yeah. the guy. Walking with a plate full of corpses. <laughs> I guess we technically did so, discuss it, so it's up to you I, what you want to do. I kind of hate that the, the, the thing flies 20 feet behind me. It's kind oh, of a really Everybody in this distance. town is just like... It just looks like you killed someone and they're carrying them along with them. yourself. I got the bounty. <laughs> I mean... I suppose we could head have headed to Spark Elias's first. And then split. You can say whatever you would have done. You know, yeah. obviously you're going to notice the pile of bodies trailing behind you. So. Generally speaking, I would hope so. Yeah. <laughs> I know it's been happening for a couple days now, but it's not still not a normal thing. <laughs> you're not to you. totally <laughs> wrong. I <laughs> almost squished them with a mine cart and then got the meat because you didn't realize what was going. It's yeah. OK, so fair, fair. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, exactly. <laughs> um. I mean, I suppose we'll probably want to jump off the body that Spark Kelly's is again. No! <laughs> All right. Describe your actions as you drop off the bodies. Oh, please. We're going to leave them outside this time, please. You can see Spark oh. is, you know, just few room, small cottage. He has a front porch with a bunch of hay starting to slowly be replaced after it was singed and burnt up before. All the burnt ashes have been swept away. There's we now... have bullied this man. <laughs> Almost the. Uh, At this point, it's a hate crime. <laughs> just a man and his his goat, just trying to live his life. <laughs> on one on one hand, he fears us. On the other hand, he's forced to help us. This man signed up to be a guide for Titans Watch, like someone would yeah. sign up to be a part-time Uber driver. <laughs> we burned his house down. We've stored dead bodies in his house. We've destroyed it to make a coffin. We've raided Eaten his all kitchen. His oatmeal. Yeah. One of our party members falling in love with his goat. <laughs> I don't think falling in, I think right is. Now. We've passed the falling in stage. His only friend is going to get married off. 
to a random lady that came in with Titan's watch. Don't forget that same that same goat almost tried to kill him at one point. <laughs> True. Because of this party's actions, yeah. Exactly. Because of us, basically. Oh my god. We have ruined this man's life. I would vote we delegate the bodies being put I don't know, somewhere in the back or like I guess you can leave them outside on the disc if we go inside, but like, and we can ask Spark Elias where he wants us to. Technically, put them. as long as I'm standing inside, the door. but the like, foot rain. not yeah, far enough so the disc doesn't house, try, the disc to will not the house. try to come through the Try to pull through the house. <laughs> yeah, that's because I'm gonna be honest. Parts of Spark Elias's house will not hold up to 500 pounds of pressure. Honestly, understandable. I don't know Sparky. how much Um, we made it out. We did our thing. Um, we're gonna go talk to the overseer, but um, the door swings found... open immediately. <laughs> oh, thank goodness, all y'all are safe. Well, most of us. We found the last party that went. I was sitting um, outside the the back end of the Titan for the past few days and. Haven't seen any sign nor no track of you. It was the start of some of the worst. Oh, well, I'm sorry. We don't have any way of contacting you, but hopefully in the future we can. Um, so we found some old part, old Titans Watch members. Mm -hmm. Um, they unfortunately didn't make it, but we thought we'd bring them back so that we can put them to rest as well. Where can we put them right now? Wait, wait. The body? What? More bodies? <laughs> More yes. bodies. More bodies, yes. <clears throat> uh, These ones are uh, prevented from decaying. Do not worry. Yeah, mm -hmm. they won't stink. And we're going to bring them back with us, so they'll only be here for like a, a day. I uh, max. I guess put them out. No, not put them inside so they don't spook the neighbors any. I, I guess that's a right. <laughs> this poor guy. <laughs> that's very he important. He has three uses. Give us a home to sleep, them up on the meal, and porch. bodies. <laughs> <laughs> Welcome to Sparkelly's. <laughs> Sparkelius. This more dude. Guide, assistant, corpse dealer. Hey, <laughs> Welcome to Sparkelius' haunted house. <laughs> so, so good to see y'all are back. How'd you find. What happened to all your other people? He looks Is Goat Meal home? Yeah, yeah Goat Meal's home. He's inside. <clears throat> I run inside. Fair enough. You are uh, a gracious, whatever your name was. Um. What Ignis? His name is Iggy. I think his name is Agrigius. <laughs> Outrageous. Well, that is a lot of mis misdirecting things going on right here. But whatever it is, I'm happy to see you again. Happy to see you alive and not completely devoured within the depths of the Titan. Yes, I'm mostly thankful as well. Mayo did a hefty job to my mind, but I'm here. Okay, good news and bad news. Good news, you're alive. That's good news for everybody, especially your family, anyone who's close to you. Bad news is actually, I did report you as dead, as well as all of your party. Oh, boy. So That's all I can assume. But as you can see, I'm here now, and we can rectify that issue immediately. So so you see, um, uh, when I report a dead body, you know, if, if suddenly the body comes back alive, I'm going to be in a little bit of trouble, so... Yeah, I'm just going to leave the choice up to you. You want to be back alive as part of the Titans Watch, or you want to just go off and pretend all this never happened so I don't have any marks on my record? You're no, Iggy man. is coming with us! I mean, we can always just say that I revived him using necromantic magics. I'm sure that would go down well. I don't know if that's going to go down too well. You know? Wait, yeah, no, 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 no. Um, uh, Anemone can do that thing where, like, she fakes that he's dead, and then we... Yeah. Yeah. I don't know. What? Oh, the fanning death. Yeah. Uh, that we used uh, in the fight against uh, Cornelius or whatever his name was. Shh. What? No. Look, I mean, whatever you decide is perfectly fine. It's just, you know, I'm just saying, if, if you, if you yeah, don't exist, you don't that, exist. I don't think that, uh, I think we can work a way to get uh, your permanent record uh, clean. Get Keep it clean. We'll explain the situation as it was, and uh, report such that is uh, does not hurt your record. 
I suppose, you know, it's a miracle that he's alive. A mir miracle that you're alive. And I'm happy, of course. I see. Are yes. all the others still uh, dead, though? Mm. At least from what we know. We didn't necessarily check out to see if any of them were there, but most of the... There was at least uh, two people I saw that belonged to my former party who are now dead. All right. Fair enough. Fair enough. So, what's next to y'all? I s suppose the deed is done? Yes. Yes. Can the cards are replaced? Mm-hmm. Yeah, good. We, we even left an additional one. Oh, yes, and we killed the third one as well. Mm-hmm. Excuse me, what y'all trying to say? Not the, trying the, to say. I'll pull out one of the teeth. Look, it's mm. dead! Also, you gotta Make let me know how much I got from this that. This huge ass tooth. Bloody tooth? <laughs> yeah, swag. I, it's like this giant, like. Yes, yeah, it's, like, it's, so it's like crudely cut out, okay. so there's still some of the flesh on it. Slong Fair off. enough. That's real, isn't it? Mm -hmm. well, yes. We got some scales and some blood. Mm -hmm. Y'all the same people who got, like, Held up by a bunch of goats in the mountain two weeks ago. <laughs> hey, I made a deal with them and I gave them oatmeal. Yeah, to sometimes fair, you don't have to fight stuff. We did not fight the goats. We probably could have fought the goats, but we chose peace instead. They were trying to yeah. steal goat meal. Yeah. Yes, also, your goats did like you tell us about the mafia line. thing? Yeah, <laughs> they, they... yeah, I think she did, yeah. I okay. Think she did. Yeah, they were trying to recruit him to a mafia. Uh, look, a lot of the local... A lot of the local wildlife likes to, you know, see if Goatmeal wants to rejoin them or something like that, apparently. Um, but he's with me. I'm Goatmeal's family, not them. No. That's why we protected him. When's, when's the Goatmeal, like, backstory one shot? I'm pretty sure Goatmeal thinks <laughs> you're a slave. Look. Ow. What? What? Yeah, I don't know either. It's not important anyway, me and goat meal best buds. That's all that matters to me. So. Sure. Uh huh. You, you see doubt creep across his eyes. He, he stares at goat meal. Goat meal just stares back with his rectangular eyes. <laughs> Bye. <laughs> well, it's the bodies. Please uh, stick out of them and then. Yeah, put, put them where you put the last ones. I, last one, okay. I guess. All right. Conditions up with the bodies. Yep. Now, cool. Watch the furniture. I, I know it's not special, but I don't want you breaking nothing. We will put them on the floor. Yes, we'll just put them on the floor. I don't think we need to sit in the recliner. All right, go, Mill. Stay away <laughs> from them. <clears throat> well. Uh, are, are they, um, yeah, you said they were dealt with in that yes. sense. Yes, they should not be hot. For some days and longer. Oh, very well. Uh, anyone hungry? Starve! I would love to, but um, I need to go see the overseer and let him know of the great news about the throat. His throat is no longer something. sore. I, I already dipped, so I'm not even there. <laughs> mm -hmm. <laughs> I'm gonna yep. go too, but. Well, I definitely eat when we get back. Mm-hmm. Very well. Food will be ready by the time you arrive. <gasps> Thank you. You're amazing. Pff, I know. <laughs> I'll just go. Yeah. Meanwhile. Heading off to the overseer. <laughs> Meanwhile. Rex, you've slipped away from the party. Yes. Well, I mean, slipped away is a slipped way to Slipped away is more like he walked away. No, he slipped <laughs> as he was walking away. That's what I was saying. <laughs> <laughs> I was like... That's funny. What, what are you up to? Uh, I'm trying to find a place where no one's eyes would see me. <gasps> okay. Whether that be behind an alleyway or on a hill. Just, just somewhere. Mm-hmm. There's some uh, buildings you could stay behind. It's not a very, you know, it's a small village. You can probably keep out of everyone's eyes pretty easily. Okay. If you want to be extra safe, you you know a rocky outcropping that you hid yourselves and a uh, captured dwarf from not too long yeah. ago. 
and I'll just kind of, I guess I'll go to where the, the rocks were a little sure. more, instead of just yelling behind the building. <laughs> Someone peeks out the it. window. What was that? Yeah, exactly. <laughs> I'd rather okay. go somewhere where if I see someone, I could act quickly. Yeah. You return to the, uh, the group of rocks that the rest of your party held the dwarf Tommen before, you know, the rest of the events went through. Mm. Whilst you had uh, run off under the guise of a uh, town guard, followed by several other town guards. Wow. Yeah. Nostalgic. <laughs> what a time to be alive. <laughs> what are you doing? Uh, I kind of just plop down. You said it was raining, right? It was like a light yeah. rain. Yeah. Okay. So I just kind of like plop down. And for once, I remove my hood. Uh, okay. To which, if you saw him from a distance, all you would see is kind of black as he wears an executioner type of mask underneath his hood to block out his face. Um, he kind of looks around for a moment just to make sure that no one's around. And he takes the mask off to let the rain uh, hit his head. And he kind of just thinks to himself, he's thinking about the whole situation of which has transpired over these last few weeks. Um, but now, with the possible new ally that he is unsure of, that being Ignatius, as he's consistently seen this armor in his past, mainly back where his tribe was, he consistently saw this obsidian armor. And seeing it has awoken memories he'd rather not have. <laughs> And he's trying to kind of push those emotions away. But he's having quite a difficult time about it. He's remembering at that young age, being in the Camoria tribe, watching people he would know one day be dead the next due to trials and different types of combat that went on there. And one memory snaps into his mind where at a young age must have been no more than maybe seven he's walking alongside his father watching all the different dragonborn practicing their combat preparing themselves he looks through the masses and notices that none of them look like him even though they are the same blood. He knows that he is something built just slightly more different. And it snaps back into normal time where we are now, into the present, where he removes his gloves and takes a look at his scales with this, this shiny metallic gold. As he begins to slowly pick out the scales that are on his hand, this is something that happens very often. They usually shed when they feel like it, but he sometimes pulls them out himself and he stores them in his pocket. He just sits there and ponders for a moment. If he should tell the rest of his party what's been troubling him. He knows the moment he does, things might get more sticky than they already are. And he looks through his bag to see if he still has his prized possession, which he does. He's lucky he hasn't lost it or if anyone else has seen it. And with a sigh, he just kind of sits there and tries to calm his mind in the rain as he just relaxes. All right. We now move to Milo and Wick <coughs> walking across town. Everything's relatively quiet. And you see the familiar rock structure 
that Overseer Umber has made into his home slash office slash home office. Wasn't he fancy? <laughs> He's rocking that work from home life. <laughs> Remote work. Remote work. Um. <laughs> I'm gonna walk up slowly and uh, knock on whatever resemblance of a door there may be. All right, there seems to be a normal door there. Okay. Knock, knock. And after a few moments, the doorknob turns. The door creaks open with a groan, and you can see the the large figure of Overseer Umber. The Earth Genasi sitting there before you. Uh, hello? You just say I'll be able to help you. Actually, I think that we have helped you. Even more so than you already have? Um, well, not entirely. Uh, I wouldn't say it was entirely on purpose, but we did end up helping you in the end. Um, I do uh, not quite understand the full uh, context from uh, your conversations with the small theater and how the, about uh, this how about you speak plainly and tell me exactly what happened I pull out the tooth we have slain the mother excuse me Yes, the thought room that was blocking the entrance to the mouth, imposing a dangerous threat to your uh, operations. She dead. She lies slain, currently. Well, that's impossible. Well, it is not impossible, considering. It's actually kind of really easy when we you know, like hunker down and like actually like work together as a team instead of like decided to run and we like. Put all our are all in. Yeah, it was kind of it was quite easy. Really thought inside the worm, if you will. Just describe to me how you managed to bring down something that size. Do you want like the full detail, or like? Just give me enough. Well, we were sleeping mm -hmm. in a magical bubble, and then the worm tried to eat the magical bubble, and then we fought it from the inside, killing it with necrotic damages. Mm -hmm. And, uh, and then they tried to run away, and we were like, no, 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 mm. you're not going to run away. Not this time, because we don't want to have to come back here, and we don't want you to keep making all these babies, because that kid was, like, strewn with eggs and babies. And then we were just like, bow, 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 bow. And then also, someone that we that found, like, was like, whoop, and, like, got, like, this cool, like, hit on it, and it was like, it just, like, sunk deep into its heart, and it killed it. Mm-hmm. Some wait, someone you found within the Titan? Ah, uh, yes, this was one another the previous Titans watch members. Mm -hmm. <clears throat> they were still alive down there. Yes, uh, there was a uh, creature down there called I don't remember his name. I, I, I don't remember. I think it was uh, something along the lines of uh, Cornwall or something. Um. He was a tiefling, red, he had horns, it was like... Yes. Woosh, 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 Very woosh, charming woosh. fellow. That had, I'll make myself uh, look like him, actually. I'll do that. I'll be like... Oh, there you go. He looked like uh, this. I recognize that face. Oh, you do, do you? He signed up to be a part of my labor force and disappeared after one day. Ah, that makes so much more sense then. Yes, he was stealing our labor force, as well as, I think, maybe killing some of your employees and charming them into uh, doing his bidding. Yeah, he wanted to, like, take the Titan to the other side. Yes. And, like, he wanted to go to the other side because he thought he'd be, like, this a powerful wizard, but, like, he was kind of mm -hmm. not that powerful. So then I feel like all the other wizards that are over there, if they are powerful, would just laugh at him. So. And you said he had others with him? Yes. The previous member was the Titan's Watch that also went down to replace the rods a, a couple some months ago. Most of them died, but <coughs> two of them are alive. Just gonna nudge Wick. Were there any of the miners oh. down there with him? 
No. We lost nearly a dozen throughout the last year. I do not know if there was other miners. We just know that is who we found is who we found. Wait, out of character. Were we supposed to go back to the butt and bring up the other guy? No? Okay. We were we just weren't supposed to mention <clears throat> I think I picked oh. up the guy Jork. from the butt. Yeah, we also Someone have like a, a vial bucket. of butt guy. We have like a mm. vial of butt guy gut somewhere. Yeah. I think I have it, but I'm not positive. <laughs> Man, we are weird people. <laughs> yeah. I completely forgot. But anyway. Um, what Shame this, that would have explained the disappearances. The Kameho person is taken care of. The Thought Kameho, one is taken care of. That was the name. Oh, yes. That right. was the name. Yes. <laughs> Um, he is taken care of. The thought worm is taken care of. Uh, quite a few dozen of the stalactite bat things are taken care of. But there's still a lot of those and a bunch of the There's still very many. Yes, there's still very many of the bat things. Do, do be careful. Yeah, it's just part of doing business in there, I suppose. Mm -hmm. Yes. Oh, and the titan should not pass the other, time, other side for quite some time. Mm -hmm. So your business should be uh, saved. Is it... I was coming here to say. So you've Doing the job you came here to do. Well, actually, the job you came here to do is to prevent the Titan from going to the other side. We want to let you know about the mama. The mama in the Kameho was sort of collateral as part of the project. Well, I'm going to be honest. I think I should reward you or something for that, but... No, I don't think you need to do that. You've rewarded us quite nicely. Make an insight check. Both of you, if you'd like. I mean, if you got like old goggles or boots you're not needing, I'll take those because I can do stuff with them. Um, I don't you? entirely think my old boots would fit upon you. Oh, no, 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 no. It's okay. Apron I would wick. make them. Kick a brain. I'm the one. I, I mean, I, that, arguably, I'm the one talking to him, so I could be looking at him and be like. <clears throat> yeah, you see, like, something about this, uh, Conversations made him uneasy. Hmm. But that's about what you're getting from it. Uh, yeah, you want a pair of boots? I can give you a pair of boots. Oy. Um. You mean? That'd be great. <laughs> he reaches under his desk, pulls out these boots that are... Like, the feet are about the size of your forearm. <laughs> mm. <laughs> <laughs> when he does that, I'll look at Milo and be like, I don't understand sign language. I'm sorry. Oh, I was trying to do that to Milo. <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> he sees He's it. looking <laughs> right at yeah. you. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> I'm... Milo looks. For somebody who's extraordinarily intelligent, he is, <laughs> he looks stupid. <laughs> like, he's like. What's he, that wisdom see, score looking like? You can see like the gears cranking uh, in his yeah, head. Plus one, gotcha. <laughs> yeah. A little minor illusion of smoke comes out of uh, Um, I'll just look at, um. Overseer. I can always forget their names. Um. <laughs> yeah, it's Overseer. Are you okay? Is everything all right? You good? You chilling? Suppose I couldn't be happier. You don't look happy though. That's that's my that's my what I'm worried about. I'm wor I'm worried about you. Are you okay? The way I see it, my job just became a whole lot easier. Mhm. Mm so what's so... there not to be okay about? Well, you did seem kind of uh, in shock, maybe. No, You've know, defeated something that's been here longer than I've been alive. Oh, were you shocked because you thought oh. we were not that strong? He oh, looks wow. at all 250 pounds of you two put together at most. <laughs> <laughs> Tiny little it's like, five five. Yes. Six, <laughs> <laughs> it's like people that look this too. <laughs> You're half a foot taller than me. <laughs> I'm just like scrawny, like 
pencil-shaped wizard in 664? Well, we just want you to know that if we did something <laughs> wrong or you weren't okay with it, and yeah, like you might be happy, but you don't look happy, so I just want to make sure that everything's okay. You this, can tell this is us. my face. I always look like this. Yeah. I'm also going to be entirely honest. It didn't really matter to me if you were okay with us killing the worm because it was trying to eat us. Better than a lot of others have done. I mean, considering the worm was alive up until about yesterday night, yes. And the uh, previous group of Titans watch, you said they're they're dead. Mostly dead. Mostly dead. Yes. Now what are you All but one. Mostly. All but one uh, is, has. Well, uh, all but one died. We uh, assume. Because we only found one alive. I think I'd like to speak to him at some point. Or her. Whichever one it was lived. We can bring him uh, by, if you'd like. I mean, I, I can definitely let him know. And maybe he can head to you uh, tomorrow at some point. I think tonight. I would appreciate that. Okay. okay. Gonna just kind of look at we And look back. I think uh, it is all we had, so we should probably head out and let you get your rest. Business should be booming soon enough, hopefully. <laughs> oh, you should probably let the Leviathan and Eddie know as well that the mine should be back up and running. Mm -hmm. Anyways, goodbye. I'll take a couple of scales that I got, like maybe like a handful or like five or six, and I'll just give them to him. Here you go, you can have a little trophy. Appreciate that. And you see him, like, become uneasy again, just off something you guys said. But he accepts the uh, little trophies. He nods to him, puts him in his desk. Bye. Be seeing you. As soon as the door closes, I'm just going to be like, What, what, what? I what? saw something. I he so. made a but he did he there's something wrong. I don't know what it is. Hold on, hold on, and I can't but, but let's go let's go come 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 let's go let's not not for this all. <clears throat> so you think that there's something wrong? Uh, we said something it? and there was like a twinge. There was like a like a you know, and I was trying to tell you that he looked like sad but like like kinda like nervous, but like you know, and I don't know if it, what we I don't know if it's because of what I did with the the change, like who I am, because I know like humans really don't like. Oh, it is possible. My God. Uh, well, I mean, it's I I hope. Uh, I mean, I don't take any offense to it. I mean, from the Fey as well. So you know, if they do not uh, accept you, I will. You see a little bit of a flicker of fire in his hands. Careful now, you wouldn't want to shoot yourself in the foot with that. <laughs> and I just like, poke at them. <laughs> <laughs> it's okay, 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 it's fine. I do not okay, myself. but like something's wrong. No, uh, like, okay. I don't know if it was like Kameo or if it's a throat worm. Like he's got trauma that we just like triggered because I feel really bad if that is. Or if like he's okay. like, pulling us in. So do you think that it is maybe some sadness from some past events? Do you think he is guilty about something? Oh, if we're getting into the guilty timeline, don't even get me started. Oh my gosh. He was the one who was trying to make sure that that dwarf died. So what if he was trying to cover up something? Wait, 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 wait. He was trying... Oh, yes. Well, yeah, I mean... yeah, the dwarf died. They still killed him. We. This whole thing has been for us to prevent that guy from dying because they thought he was stealing from the mines. And then we went and killed the thing that was killing miners. And then... Now he's just like, mm, okay, it's gone now. What if that was his pet and he was using it to get all the Titan glass for himself? This thinks that he is some kind of a uh, ruthless businessman then. I don't Again, know. Is... Either that or like maybe like his significant other died and he's just like, oh my God, what's going on? They died and now that I mean... dead and I have nothing to be mad about anymore. You know? I'll do it in his voice. <laughs> Was there anything specific? <laughs> <laughs> Was there anything specific that uh, we said that he 
seemed to react to you in any way? It was... I think it was just after we told him about the the worm. Well, he, like... seemed, he seemed severely interested in the remaining Titan's Watch members, I think. I know that we said we Ooh, would yeah, send... Yeah. I know that we said we would send Ignatius to him. I don't think that we should. If you think that he is... Not uh, alone, at least. If you think that he is... Um, guilty or something. Maybe we send the uh, anemone? With, uh, no. Mitchell's? Well, I mean, I mean it's not a lot. Not anemone alone with Ignatius. So else should it means be there. they are the perfect balance to each other. <laughs> yes. I can't whistle right now, but I want to go. Woo, woo. <laughs> so, wait. I mean, why can't I whistle? Wait, what did you say? They're whistled together. No, they are the perfect. They are a complete opposition. Ignatius oh. is noble and true and stoic. Mm -hmm. Anemone is chaos. <laughs> Why? You? Why? You? <laughs> Them buttons on the contrary. I that panicked was... because that is a thing on my stream, and I was like, did I get hit live by accident? Am I live right so now? So loud. Was bad. So <laughs> loud. Oh my god. I think I have a oh. compressor on y'all, but I, I don't know for sure. <laughs> oh boy. Oh. oh. Anyway. Yeah. I don't um, I like I think that maybe we all should go. I mean I had some ideas for tomorrow that I was hoping to accomplish and some time off. God, but when I... does the boat come? You got about day and a half, two days. To your okay, well, I, I mean, we can always have that tomorrow. I get some time and some morning to myself anyways. It's so much time. What are you wanting to do? Maybe I can help you with it and it go by faster. I can't do okay. anything with these boats for a while. I gotta like... Oh, it's fine. It's fine. It's... I'm gonna pull up the them. book. The spell book. That I found. And oh. I'm gonna crack it open and show some of these like crazy spells that were on the in there What's that? uh Dude, like... I, don't, I i was trying to like <laughs> rein in anemone when you found that book <laughs> yeah, yeah 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 that's why i'm showing it to you now and not cracking it open with anemone around mm. i'll open the door to the I put door the page to uh, uh the page called tidal wave yeah you can see this um spell that seems to be of conjuration magic about mm, just being mm, able mm. to cast a wall of water and send it towards your enemies yes 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 so that is one i was interested oh. in and then i uh, took another page to uh arms of hadar <clears throat> this one's a bit uh creepy it is uh from what i understand i can summon some uh, tendrils from some uh, esoteric creatures uh, to protect me in the melee spaces. Like that hand? Sort of, like yes. Hand? Yes, yes. Um, can I read, like, can I read these spells? They're probably, are they like in runic Make or are they in common? Check. Yeah. Mm, proficient. You get the gist of them. You think you'd need okay. to take some time studying them to get the full idea okay. behind them. But you can tell that this one is, you know, got some necrotic damage to it, whatever it comes with. You're really liking the necrotic lately, aren't you? Um, It's a good, it's good damage. Because it is, it is uh, I think, interesting for my research. So... Hmm. I did say that I would tell you more uh, once we sold. We uh, got seven days on a boat, baby. Yes, so remind me once we get on the boat. Um, okay. We'll find a quiet space to, to chat. So, and I will explain some more. Okay. Okay. Sounds good. And then I'll say, well, we should probably head back, get some food. And finally get a good night rest. No longer needing the bubble. Ugh. Oh, yeah. That would be good. Yes. 
Oh, right. wait, hold on. One more thing. Wait, mm -hmm. are you okay, by the way? Am I okay? Yeah. You seem, like, upset. Like, you want to be, like, alone a lot lately. And, like, you always wanted to kind of be alone, but, like, not, like, Rex level alone. But, like, that, you're kind of, like, at Rex level alone right now. <laughs> you see, Milo <laughs> kind of... <laughs> <laughs> Again, Did I set the bar that high? <laughs> yeah, that's like, not a level, that's the end cap. Uh, not like <laughs> very, yeah. Milo's not like a crazy emotional person, but he's cried in the last few days, and this is the first time he's stifling like a total laugh. Um, at just the mention of Rex being a complete loner. Um, <clears throat> uh, well, um, I will explain more on the boat. Yes. It is kind of all tied together a little bit. I messed up in the cave. I messed up really badly. And I think we all made is, a few uh, mistakes, but we we got through on it. I think mine was a bit more than a mistake. I nearly killed our friend. I mean because I couldn't control it again. Anyways, <clears throat> food, relaxation, in the group attack against the overseer tomorrow. <laughs> I'll just Again, let Milo a slight laugh. Walk away for a bit, so I'll just pause and just think to myself of like I'm with you. I feel the exact same way and then keep walking. All right. Character development. <laughs> mm -hmm. yeah, I'm pretty it. sure I this knocked it, someone baby. out too and I almost killed Rex. <laughs> I think <laughs> Yeah, I nuked my friend <laughs> that I met not 24 hours prior. <laughs> I, I was going to say, guys. are we really that close? I feel like you've really <laughs> developed a really strong emotional attachment to me beyond even less than 24 hours. You literally shot a fireball in my face after I knew you for an hour. Yeah, about an hour later, I was like, actually, nuke. <laughs> <laughs> Little Titans it's forgot great. to watch where their teammates are standing. It, we couldn't uh, see. How can we yes. see where our teammates are standing if we can't see? Uh, to be You're fair, the one who casts stand... light. <laughs> <laughs> oh, wait, wait, it was a magical darkness, there technically. Was, was. I'm just, I'm just magical like... darkness. I couldn't we, cast anything. That we might. currently don't have anything to do with magical darkness. I'm working on it. I'm working oh, on stuff to work to deal with regular darkness. <laughs> Why don't you just get <laughs> darkness? Our... <laughs> get better. Regular get... darkness is so overrated. Just In... get dark vision. You, you know who else likes regular darkness? Crying. My mom. My mom. <laughs> oh, God. <laughs> All right. Oh, my so, God. moving back to Spark Elias' cabin. <clears throat> you guys have anything that's going on before the others return? We're making food. What you're making oh, food I, I together? Love this. I kind of hope it's like a sitcom. It opens up like home improvement. <laughs> <laughs> All Seems right, like goat meal. Room. What are what do you want for dinner? Hmm. <laughs> oh, oh, goat meal. You're so funny. All right, Iggy. Are you ready to help me chop up some veggies? <laughs> I mean, I goat guess I really don't know how to rug. wield this knife. Uh, oh. How exactly are you supposed to go down? Don't worry, I'll teach you everything you need to know about how to chop vegetables. Oh All right. My oh no! Uh... I cut my finger! <laughs> oh, well here, let me kiss it and make it better. Oh! Just oh, oh, brings oh, it to the oh, finger oh, oh. and then suddenly <laughs> the finger just like goes straight to the lips. And then it's just like See, a... I've seen this before! It <laughs> 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 like, <laughs> oh. Oh. Sorry, my, oh, my, my head. Wrong sitcom, wrong sitcom. <laughs> this website is isn't roll 20. <laughs> Why is the nominee wow, in a wow, love wow. triangle now? I had this whole thing <laughs> planned with goat, goat meal. meal and <laughs> 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 Safe to say we don't know Nemini's type. They're all the same guys. room right now. Um, <laughs> it's... Is it hot in here, or is it just me? Um, God, I, just, I suddenly the shot pans back. Ignatius' shirt's already off. He didn't even take it off. It's just completely gone. 
I like the idea. And the, and the shot where Goatmeal like t shoots an like electric look towards Ignatius and like just looks back. <laughs> you can see the electricity. No, his eye, no, because he's a goat. His eyes are literally crossed, and he looks no, completely both ways. <laughs> Goatmeal's just hey, over there doing line. the side eye. <laughs> side eye. <laughs> Giving him the goat shoulder. Oh. Nah, fortunately, that's all just a fantasy inside of um inside of uh, an enemy's head as they're literally just cutting regular. Yeah. <laughs> like, it cuts back and it's actually just like it's it's uh, Sparkelius. Sparkelius like goat meals in Sparkelius' lap and he's petting him like it's a cat. Yeah. And Nemity is just like slowly chopping him. Like... <laughs> she's not. She's not even chopping the carrot. It's like two inches away from the knife, and she's just. And like, Ignatius just goes. Yeah. And Ignatius just takes and the carrot and just pushes are... it in toward the the knife. Oh. I like the Ignatius and Chork are like fighting each other. Yeah, they're they're, they're like the master onions. chefing it on the side, like competing to see right, how quickly uh, they can, can chop the Can I get the dexterity checks from everybody for their knife skills? Oh, yes. <laughs> Disadvantage oh, no. from an enemy because she's Someone's distracted. Someone's losing your hand. Can Can I apply oh. some strength to? <laughs> nope, it's a dex my... check. <laughs> This oh, I, see. Nice I was gonna say because I, I could see like I could just brute force my way through. I'm it. sorry, a pickaxe does not cut carrots very well. Oh, not too bad. Oh he knows no. Way the kitchen. I guess I got. Yeah, hey, Ebony, we're gonna be matching. <laughs> it's okay. She's in the safest place she can be right now with the people who have healing. That's true. 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 Oh God. <laughs> Yeah, you, you as you described, Anemone, you are cutting like away from the carrots, away from everything. You don't manage to really cut anything. Ignatius manages to cut beautifully, however. Mm-hmm. Nothing, you know, chef level, but you know, no. does the job. It's a fashion. It's a fashion. No one's gonna complain about this. And Ignatius, uh, the male wife. Toma. And say what? Manipulate male life. <laughs> <laughs> he, uh, well, either way, God, uh, Ignatius gathers up all his life. vegetables. Um, he's <laughs> looking over at you, um, and he says, Do you need any help cutting? Uh, you seem to be a bit behind. What? <laughs> Do you need help cutting your vegetables? They're, they're not completely cooked, cut yet. Oh. Ignatius, you feel a thud um. against your leg. <laughs> oh. See a goat just oh, give um, you a bit of a headbutt. Hi, goat meal. Um. <clears throat> That's quite. Um. <laughs> um. Uh, I. I've. I've got the. I've got the carrots. Goat meal. Get out. You should All right, the I can uh, prepare the pot if if you want. I can get everything set and ready the cauldron. And we can put everything in there. Perfect. Yeah. Uh huh. I spill some water into the cauldron of food mm. preparation. At that moment, the other two return. <laughs> you see, uh. <laughs> You open the door to see a perturbed goat in the kitchen. staring daggers at Ignatius. <laughs> Anemone just takes the cutting board and is like... <laughs> what well, smells good in here, guys? Oh, we're Thanks. making, um... What are, what are we making again? We are making... Let's see. Let's roll... Two. Let's see how many <laughs> syllables this is. Long. Beef. Ooh, okay, it's 17. We get a nice long name. Syllables? We are... <laughs> <laughs> we are making the gourmet par excellente veggie stew of the great high titan lord with milk. <laughs> I counted 18. Was, there, was I wrong, or...? I, I put I didn't count the Okay, fair at enough. At the beginning. It's my bad. Some better clip that so I can remember what that name is later. So Ooh. you're making Titan stew? Basically. I helped. <clears throat> so you know it's yes. gonna be good. Yeah. Typically I'm the cook here and I that make some good. pretty delicious stuff, but you know, Dang I um meal. Mostly oatmeal, yes. 
I made a good stew at one point too. That's true oh, for the carns. Mm-hmm. Um. But you know, Iggy uh, has a way with um <clears throat> his hands chopping those vegetables. Thank you. Um. <clears throat> anyway, it's so it's goat meal time for our cuddles. Yeah. All right. Well, I guess I can handle the rest of myself. Chork, you want to come in here? We can get the pot brewing. Uh, sure. Oh, my God. Oh. Hey, it's Bacchilius. Was there is there any places around here to get um, beverages not of the clean kind, if you will? Uh, good luck finding any of that around here. Oh, oh yeah, I forgot. The I name. mean, like, no booze. <laughs> I forgot. There's not any official place I can point you out to uh, have anything black like market, that. Black but, market, black market, black market. But I know a guy. If, if you, <laughs> I know a guy who knows a guy. <laughs> Do you have any I mean, dire it's necessity? Been, it's been quite the long week, you know. I was thinking that maybe a lot of us could celebrate with some good food and some good drink. I mean, it's not the nicest place, but one of my uncles got a nice little underground thing going on. By the way, I would like to mention that I come home and, and I've now eavesdropped in on booze discussion. <laughs> I, I heard moment, booze. I heard booze. <laughs> he heard booze and his like spidey sense tingles. And yeah, just exactly. Comes, like booze, storming booze home. Booze senses were tingling. Yeah. Yeah. Huh? Booze? Like, so I, I heard booze discussion. <laughs> Intoxication? Yeah, my... oh, I mean, I probably shouldn't be talking about this with uh, such fine company like that, but my uncle Spark Kelly's the tenth happens yeah. to have a nice little thing going on. I cool, mean... where? Did you say Spark Kelly is the tenth? <laughs> yeah, I just completely like... ignored that. Did not get nah, it. Yeah. Exactly. I, I think he did mention that <laughs> to us Spark at one Kelly point. Is... Yeah, there is multiple. <laughs> what is he though? Is he... It's a real common name. I'm Spark Kelly is the thirteenth personally. Oh, I think we knew that. Okay. Mm -hmm. That's a lot. Yeah, my older brother was Park Elias the 12th, but, uh, you know, just think. A anyway, apparently he wasn't like very much, so my father, Park Elias the 11th, named him. Um, named me the same name as him. And now we are, uh, well, really, we don't talk too much anymore, but he does have that business going. Hmm. So your well, uncle. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. <laughs> I mean, it keep like with the numbers, it keeps it all in, in track of who's who. So I mean, like it's good. It's a good system. Uh, names can get really common around here, especially upon us. Uh, Latin so the tenth. <laughs> Rex is just getting closer to Sparky. <laughs> Tell me. <laughs> Withdrawal. I haven't had beer in two days. <laughs> it's been longer than that. He's He's twitching. Twitching. He's Whatever like... you're seeking, I can imagine it's going to be overpriced compared to what you might be used to on other parts of the world. Yeah, it doesn't bother me. We uh, handsomely paid. Very well. Um, shall we head out tonight then? Yeah. Uh, Is yes. this like a, like a boy thing? I think so you're going to bring it back. Oh. I don't know if we're going to be smuggling it across town, you know. Oh, then this is a boys' night out, I suppose. Mm. Oh, I, hey, I mean, if any of the ladies want to join us or anything, you know. <laughs> boys' well, night, just yeah. the three of us. Ignatius and Chorg are just over there. Yeah, just... <laughs> Iggy, are you going? Okay. <laughs> <laughs> like, Ignatius, oh, like... they go and say, well, it's Ignatius. I mean, if you like... wanted to be a plan for us boys to discuss things i certainly can go though i'm not usually maybe surprised. that would be good for the group of us might not be bad I mean, but i don't see this why we can't all go i do agree i, I think care. it'd be something good for us all to go yes i turned myself into a boy <laughs> okay let's go <laughs> i'm not gonna do that but i'll come i yes i think we should yes, all but remember, we're not leaving yet. We're not done with the stew. We have dinner first, then we can walk over and get some stuff. True. If they're beating uh, it, it melts away. <laughs> what no, does? I'm curious to. What does male wick look like? Ooh. <clears throat> Ooh. Um. Probably just go with like shorter, like undercut type hair, shaggy on the top, um, with some like details in it. Similar clothing, obviously, because I can't change much clothing, but 
might have like light scruff on the face. Nice. This is what you're saying is you look like Baggy Rogers. Who? <laughs> Who? <laughs> you know, North. Yeah. Oh. You lagged. Yeah. Norville, Shaggy Rogers, Scooby Doo. I talk about like Shaggy's last Shaggy name design? is Rogers. Yeah. Yes. No, not Shaggy. No, no, no. He no undercut. So like yeah. the sides from like here. Yeah, I was it funny because you're saying it's like shorter head, and then you're he's got like a little bit of scruff, and I was like, yeah, just like. Oh Shaggy. yeah. Oh my god. No. I understand. <laughs> um, Shaggy doesn't have scruff. He has just like he's he's got like double. Just, just on his yeah. chin there. Chin. Fair enough. I would say, like, Scruff is more of a, like, Mitch and Zylo have. Mm. Yeah, like, the short, right? Yeah. Like, like, not 5 o'clock shadow, but, like, just growing out. But it's not a 5 o'clock shadow. I'm so sorry. Shaggy's Caution. first name is Norville. Yes. yes. Yeah. Norville Shaggy Rogers. I didn't it's know that. Yeah. By Shaggy. The way you tried to describe Shaggy to us, you started with Norville. As yeah. if that was common was knowledge like, to all of us. Because <laughs> I was like, I didn't I was know like, that. I didn't realize I had such a... Well, you knew what I was talking about, Michael. You understood who I was referencing when I said that, right? You seemed yes. to have a glimmer of recognition. It took him a, a second, glimmer. though. Yes, I knew who you were talking I mean... <laughs> When you said Shaggy, uh, cause you, you cut out on Rogers, so I thought you were talking uh -oh. about like Shaggy, the music artist. Like the music artist. Like, yeah. <laughs> it was like, are you sure? No, that. Fine. Guess my guess my very niche Scooby Doo knowledge was unrecognized tonight. It, it wasn't. It hey, wasn't we all me. got that I... knowledge somewhere. <laughs> Didn't Mine's know that Disney niche. <laughs> Just pulled them out randomly. Yeah. Either way, anyway. anyways, yes, Mailwick. But yes, yeah. there is a delicious meal now Mick. finished for all of you. <laughs> you just take the W and turn it upside <laughs> down. So now we've got Rex, Mick, Milo. Ignatius. Ignatius and Anemone. <laughs> uh, no, yes, it'll, so... it'll fade. Or I'll go back to the human form that she has. Cool. Well, at this point, the, the stew needs about maybe 15 more minutes. We're adding the vegetables at this point now, so they're going to cook through, and then we'll be able to eat. Is there meat? I go lay on the floor. <laughs> yeah, I'll take this to the table. No. Yeah. <laughs> I don't know. <laughs> you know as well as McQuick and I do. We just got here. <laughs> Is there meat the... in the stew? <laughs> Is there meat? Yes. Well, let's the see. amount of syllables is, there is. Is there meat? <laughs> Roll above a ten. There's meat. In fact, oh, there's meat. No. Thank Ooh. God. <laughs> Didn't uh, tell you what meat it is, but there is meat. I don't even <laughs> care what it is. I just want slices of it. Hot is dog Titan stew after all? <laughs> Mystery <laughs> meat. It's just hot dog. <laughs> <laughs> you ever have those spaghettios with hot dog pieces in them? Oh, I was thinking like hot dog and it's like chili. That yeah, yeah, same concept. You put a hot dogs in your mac and cheese? Oh, that was good. <laughs> that shit slaps. <laughs> it's whatever Spark Elliot's had on hand, you know? Yeah, when you're hungover and you're really drunk. Just. Hey, when you're drunk, food hits different. <laughs> oh, yeah. <laughs> when you're right. drunk, 7 Eleven nachos sound delicious. Oh, my God. Yeah, that's delectable, dude. <laughs> oh, my gosh. Speaking of Sorry. which. We cut to you all standing in front of a debatably shady establishment on the outskirts of town. You can see what appears meal to be an us? abandoned building. You know, frankly, if yes, my dad meals with you. in here. <laughs> For some reason. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> we need the drama. was low-key hoping he wasn't, but... <laughs> <laughs> I think no. that's an enemy coming through right now, not you at this point. <laughs> the, the 180, man. The, <sighs> the switcheroo. No, it's not I even. to get home to goat meal. Yeah. She found someone who gives her piggybacks. Come on. He held her like a baby and said, are you my baby? Basically. <laughs> so like, I don't... <laughs> the heart wants what it wants. 
Come on, goat meal. That's also not the I'm first not time you that you've been held like that by him. Oh, yeah, come, goat meal. <laughs> <laughs> I'm very happy you're coming with us. <laughs> So is there like a secret code? Is there like a thing open and we have to say like your name or whatever? Or we do we just go in? Oh, don't worry. You no, know, my uncle's a good fan of me. As soon as he sees me, he's going to let us in right away. Dun, dun, dun. He knocks on the Get door. Get on the inside on that statement. Yeah, absolutely. <laughs> I, really feel free. I was about to say, I was like, I didn't, I didn't like how that was said. I don't know. It seems a little, a little sus. Oh, wrong, wrong one. Oops, the other one. Uh, well, forehead. Oh, there you done. go. That's our one. It both both things mm -hmm. open up. It's oh, hard to gauge him, it? you know. Huh? This could go a lot of ways, but you can see a little shutter open on the door. <gasps> there was slides a slides open. I called it. <laughs> it's a speakeasy, of course. Yeah. It was a device time. Guys, and you can right see this, this this beautiful um, lightning genasi with. Just like curled hair sprawling down his face. Just look forward. No. <laughs> and the thing shuts. No, wait, hold up, wait a second. <laughs> I just gotta tear down yeah. that door. Yeah. Yeah. Wait, I like cut in front of the I would of, like uh, to turn into a fly, fly in, yeah. open the door from the other side, and let everybody in. <laughs> You are wow. this big. I don't think you could open the lock. No, okay, I'm going to so un chaos. unfly myself yeah. oh. and open the door. <laughs> so you turn into a fly? Yeah. Oh, I just God. like poke Sparky like right Does in the that count? Rib, Do like, they right count right as here? animals? I don't know. Just, like, poke him. I like, turn I into something very small. Cool. That you could turn cool. into like a hummingbird maybe. I'm pretty sure like a oh, fly would be oh. CR like one out of 40. A so... negative HP. <laughs> It's like half a half a hit point. Accidentally maybe. bonks her head in the door, dies. <laughs> yeah, exactly. Look, I think sending a fly me. into a group of lightning genasi is a great idea. They're not even gonna notice. <laughs> Roll for stealth. <laughs> Gets. Mm -hmm. I'm a fly. <laughs> I like to think that they like have like human fly swatter, like lightning bolts that they shoot at them is for fun. Literally, they just put their hand out. It's a bug fly zapper. on the wall. She, yep. she got yeah. a plus ten to herself. <laughs> but yeah, you managed to turn into a um, a small bug and slip beneath the crack of the door without anything. You can also turn into a arrive. spider as a wild shape. I'm pretty sure. So like a fly isn't too far off. Fair enough. And you are now I also inside. Think you into a giant spider. I want to debug. Oh. You can see and open um, the door. At this moment, the. Uh, Lightning Janasi you saw a moment ago is kind of walking away. Um, but yeah, you open the door and you see him immediately turn around. Ow oh, now. It's just an enemy with a lock. Hell <laughs> no. I entangle him. <laughs> Why? We want booze. We don't want to spy. Kellyus, what are you bringing to this establishment right now? I let everybody in and then close the door. <laughs> I just like like this very posh looking Milo in this like really nice suit jacket is still just standing there like, you know, if my dad saw me as this establishment, I think that he would disown me a second time. And that's just what he's a thinking group in his of head. people and their goat. <laughs> oh my god. Your lucky is very important that I do not make a scene right now. So everyone come in and enjoy some drinks at twice price. Whatever. <laughs> Whatever. Mm -hmm. Sparky, we will talk about this another time. I yep. want to sit next to Iggy You're and Goat in Meal. Trouble, Sparky. Yeah, ain't nobody call me Sparky. Just stop it. Sparkles. Stop it. And yeah, you come into this area. It's so dead in here. God. There's, there seems to be like a. You know, a bar of a bunch of nondescript kegs of things laying out and a bunch of unlabeled bottles, um, a few errant tables, but there's there's only one other guy in here. And then, of course, <laughs> that one Spark guy Elias sees what we're doing. <laughs> <laughs> Just this um... real, you know, grizzled looking dwarf in the corner. Has his cup in front of him, tries to ignore you guys. 
it's, uh, it's, it's, it's bumping in here. <laughs> I I take a I take a seat at one of the I'm assuming the stools to sit at. Mm -hmm. I take a seat at one of the stools. Yep. And I uh, re remove just my hood, not my mask, just my hood. Mm -hmm. I put it down so I can just like relax. Be like, all right, what do you got? What are you looking for? Chocolate Something's... milk. No, we don't want chocolate milk. <laughs> maybe 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 for an ebony chocolate milk if that's oh, even a thing here i just want, i think it's really oh. funny as a, for a visual right now just for, so everyone can see because i this is what i'm picturing in my head you have rex seven foot tall dragonborn <laughs> sit down yep. at a bar stool and then you have a little tiny anemone crawl <laughs> up to the bar barely reach the bar and go chocolate, chocolate milk, milk. <laughs> <laughs> And Rex just almost punched yeah, her. Yeah, I just, I just like grab her head. I just like push her down. Yeah, he just his whole hand over her face. Yeah, 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 yeah. <laughs> the both of you have a cloudy brown liquid set in front of you. <laughs> I haven't had oh one of these God. babies in a while. Is this strong? <laughs> Y'all about to find out. What did she just drink? Cool. He just take. He drinks it like immediately. Make the me Constitution checks. Anemone at disadvantage. <laughs> Okay. <laughs> Why am I at disadvantage? You're expecting <laughs> chocolate milk. <laughs> Anemone can hold her liquor. Well, no. And yeah, that's an both eight. of you taste what seems to be, you know, some sort of sour liquid, but heavily fermented. Mm. And <laughs> it is indeed milk, cold. but oh, but not chocolate. And not good. Why was it brown? It's Bailey's. That's a question that nobody asks in this. Goat milk. <laughs> and Rex, you, you know, you didn't come here for the fine flavors. You. Nope. I just want to get drunk. You didn't get what you expected, <laughs> but you're not upset by it. And Emily, it's awful. This is not chocolate milk. I turned to Iggy. Chocolate. Oh, well, this is not terribly. Chocolate milk is not a terribly common beverage, at least from where I'm from. Darn. I walk up to the bar. Are you going to finish it? Yeah, I'll also head up to the bar. <laughs> I think the anemone did finish here. it. Depending on where we go, one second. You downed it all in one gulp. Yeah. All right. Can I have something fruity? And not like the fruity, but like fruit. <laughs> <laughs> uh, <laughs> That's related. I understand. It's just... He uh, pushes a cup before you. It seems to be a reddish cloudy liquid. Reddish <laughs> cloudy. Oh, I look at Rex's drink. Why are they all cloudy? <laughs> <laughs> I drink it. I'll pop out two gold pieces. <laughs> Going to assume that you don't have any Elvish wine, so whatever you think is best. You get the same cloudy red liquid. <laughs> yeah. And as the two of you drink it, it's reminiscent of wine. It's um, fruity. It's fruity. <laughs> you ever had like a fruit juice in your fridge that just like gets a little bit of a, a little something extra on it when it's been in there too long? It's, it's halfway between that and halfway between wine. Mm. Oh, it's like, so it's got like a little wine vinegar that was fermented to it. really poorly. Yeah. yeah okay. Oh. It's like baby's first not baby's first wine. That's like like your first That's brew right. of wine. <laughs> baby's first wine. <laughs> baby's first wine. <laughs> if you finish it, you can see in the bottom of the cup there's some like heavy sediment laying in the bottom of it. Oh. Yeah, I'm just gonna grab the cup thing. and head I'll towards the circle. And, like shake it. <laughs> mm -hmm. I'll head to a water table in the corner. Somewhere. Do we need to make concerts? Go ahead. Oh, I don't God. know what that's, what it's for. If it's drunk, how or... hard it hits. <laughs> I don't know if it's drunk or throw up. Like I it's really want to get anemone <laughs> drunk. So I, think it's gonna be I. <laughs> I will say anemone after the uh, full cup. Yeah, you are. <laughs> oh, no. You got an boy. eight, girl. <laughs> I'm just saying, I don't know who's more attractive, goat meal or Iggy. <laughs> yeah, I am in the corner, just 
book up and just like I don't know <laughs> them. I don't know them. Yeah, Milo, like this isn't quite as strong as Elvish wine, surely. Oh yeah, There's, this is weak comparatively. Nor as tasty, nor as pure, definitely, nor as artfully crafted. It wasn't worth two gold. No. <laughs> <laughs> Somebody Whatever. made wine in their basement. <laughs> yeah. It's like box wine, but much worse. Mm -hmm. Ignatius would uh, go up as he's up at the bar. He'd say, um, do you have any good things that are local around here? Anything that might have a bit more of a shock oh, to Oh, God. You? Iggy shops at Whole Foods 100%. <laughs> <laughs> he's not just a daddy. He's a sugar daddy. Oh my god. Actually, he's a would stevia daddy. Would you like daddy. to have he's what they had, daddy. or would you like Splendor. something a little more? <laughs> what do you say? Would you like to have what those those two gentlemen had, or something a little... Or... Yeah, oh, yeah. The, the, the dragon-looking one. Or something more. I'm definitely into, like, my second or third cup. I mean, <laughs> if you got something that's real nice and, uh... I'm not looking necessarily... I, I don't mind the strength. I can handle it. I just want what you say is the best and the most reminiscent of what this place brings. You're basically drinking moonshine. Goat milk that's, that's moonshine. And you're like, give me the finest goat milk moonshine you got. <laughs> <laughs> I mean, at least he has the gusto to ask. Whereas Milo didn't even ask. He's just like, I already accepted this is worse. And he brings out, well, the, the others had like these cloudy, awkward liquids. You brought this almost martini glass of just a clear liquid. Mm, it's just hey, water. what the hell? It's just water. <laughs> it sounds like just water. <laughs> yeah. I mean, if it was, he won't be opposed. We'll see what happens. Mm -hmm. mm, refreshing. I like my water shaking. No. <laughs> that would be me actually at a bar. Just saying. <laughs> True. Martini glass of water. Yeah. Me, me at a bar is seven vodka shots deep. I have. <coughs> Elt. I have been on a pirate ship that had a bar on it with Kano before. So. Less. And it's that like was Kano. true. That this was. This is uh, this is a real thing. Kills is all I need. <laughs> and this was indeed him. So. Mm -hmm. I'm just gonna be dancing if there's like a. Little floor. I'm gonna put my. I was just gonna say, anemone we... is absolutely on like a, a table. What is it called when you like do like the random like dancing? I can't like <laughs> interpretive dancing. Yes, <laughs> anemone is interpretive dancing on one of the tables right now. The oh book comes God. higher, what? and I slink is there lower. Actual music playing, or she just there's no music <laughs> playing. <laughs> no. The music I'm, of her head. I'm just of like life, the more drunk bro. Wick gets, the like, the like the dancing lights will come out and like. They'll make little fireworks as we're dancing, like around, like and <laughs> you and I, and the probably the like facade will flicker in and out. At what point <laughs> is that old dwarf still there? Yeah, you still nursing the same drink after all this time. <laughs> I'm gonna, I'm gonna hand him a gold coin as well, just to apologize. <laughs> he looks up at you, doesn't speak, looks back down to his drink. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, and Ignatius, can you roll me a constitution save for your drink? Most definitely. Okay, you feel as you sip this drink, um, your hairs begin to stand on end. It's spicy in a way you weren't expecting. Not spicy. <laughs> <laughs> And it tingles the entire way down, attacking every part of your body as it finds its way to your stomach. Mr. Bartender, sir, I would like another chocolate milk. You get another tankard of bathtub whiskey. There you go. <laughs> oh, God. Yep, that's about what it looks like when you finish the glass. <laughs> uh, a peanut God. butter protein Awful. milkshake. <laughs> yep. Oh, protein God. shake. Whatever it kind it was. of is the equivalent of just like rotten protein shake. That's the stuff, man. Mm. I pick up Goatmeal's front legs and I start dancing with them. 
while they're dancing, I'll just cast a little minor illusion of some music <laughs> that kind of okay. goes on repeat. What what flavor of music do we hear? Uh, it's like screamo. <laughs> no, it's not screamo. <laughs> Good old Elvin screamo. Elvin, it's like more like like imagine like <laughs> Elvin, like like Elvin like ambient, but like also reggae. So it's it's that. It's a good I'm mix. imagining like Lord of the Rings, Elven music. Lord of the Rings, oh, reggae. Right. To, with like, to to rage is cool. right now. just like oh, burp, there's like burp, some steel drums. God. And just spinning the finger around. It's like a record. Yeah. There's now a little bit of music. Yeah, literally. <laughs> <laughs> a club. I don't know why that's the default. I don't know. <laughs> Just hand in air with Drake. Yeah. yeah. Who looks the most composed out of the group right now? Rex, probably. <laughs> yeah, just it's between you and Rex. Depends. And I've had that's several drinks at this point already. I would Milo. say I'm uncomposed. True. I'm just sort of playing into the fun. Yeah, Milo's just Milo at this point. Mm -hmm. That's fair. I'm not I really think... any different than I was when I walked in here. He he's he I has an awkward Ignatius elegance to him as always. Yeah. Ignatius is definitely going to go Got up the to, light, uh, the music. to Rex, cool. and he's going to say, "You know, you really should uh, try this drink. <laughs> it's quite a nice flavor." I don't even like answer him. I just like take it and immediately just like <laughs> down a bit of it. Con save. All right. Ooh. Watch him fail. Yo, yeah. wait, if you make a dancing lights, that's uh, a disco ball. We could totally do some disco <gasps> here. I will do that. <laughs> they, they were like little fireworks and like little like moving lights, but I'll Rex, you take like, one lightning. <laughs> <laughs> Pose that to me. I'll make it. A ah, there is lightning in it. That's what I thought. As you are literally shocked as this drink washes down. Lightning there water. was lightning in that drink. It's just light. It's lightning water. Yeah, that's what I is, thought. I figured there was something no, in it. No. <laughs> yeah, yeah, there it is. Woo! Mm -hmm. Yeah, right, that's I, I changed that's the music silo. It's disco now. This. It's okay. unique, isn't it? This is definitely a flavor I've not tasted before. Mm. <laughs> kind of just like looks over to the other three, just like, oh, at least you're having fun. Whatever. <laughs> it's weird. I don't have so, disco uh... prepped on my music playlist for this D and D campaign. Uh... <laughs> oh, no. <laughs> Man, crazy! Yeah. What I is know. wrong with you? <laughs> I don't know. Uh, boss, you know, music. breaking expectations is my goal. <laughs> oh God! Yeah. So you guys continue so, uh, yeah. through the night, spending way too much money on really low quality drinks. Oh, oh, I don't. I'm only getting one drink. I'm not getting more than that. I definitely had. I want to get a buzz. I got like three or four. I definitely had like a dozen, at least. <laughs> at least a dozen. I had one. I feel I good. It was a, a good one. I want to make or force Iggy to dance with me at some point. Oh, he he. You wouldn't have to force him. He would. He would okay. Jovially doing do it. Describe to us how Iggy dances. And Emily's okay. just over here like. <laughs> well. Just, How okay, are you so joining imagine, her? <laughs> imagine you just have kind of like this sort of, he's not really short still, but he's still medium height compared to the rest. And um, he just goes up and you just see him kind of like get into this like downward, like almost like Donkey Kong-esque pose. And he just starts like, like kind of doing like this like <laughs> sideways tap and he like raises his arms up and he's just like bending back and forth. And then it's like a little shimmy. A little shimmy and then he and then he stomps around in a circle and then he like raises his hands up and goes whoop and he like brings his like hips forward as he leans back and goes back and then he just keeps doing that in sequence and he says this is a dance we used to do in my hometown i'm here for it he's rocking it through and you feel as he's, as he's jumping go, down and down he's, He's making that floor rumble a little oh! bit. Boom, boom, boom. <laughs> so like tremors. For the last like, song, off. for the last song of the night, I'll like a little record scratch. No. <laughs> <laughs> and, and this one's 
for all the lovebirds out there. And we'll have this. Oh, oh no! Slow it down. <laughs> you know, you know what? Who does anemone dance with? <laughs> you know, you know what Rex will do? I was so out of character. Oh, yeah. He'll go up to Wick. <laughs> hey. and, and, ask, and ask Wick to dance. I would be honored. <laughs> And he does it like very politely too, like the arm behind the back, like. You know what? I think Anemone sees that happen and stands there awkwardly waiting for one of her love triangle members <laughs> to ask her to dance. She's, like... <laughs> She's just trying to look fetching. Make a, make a charisma went... check. The wall? You know, make a charisma oh, yeah. save. <laughs> a charisma? Yeah, make a save. Are you See seeing if anyone how notices. <laughs> Like the like little like the batting yeah, her just hair. like the little bit of just like twirling yeah, her shoulder. <laughs> she just sighs really aggressively well. loud. Yeah. <sighs> <laughs> oh man, okay. I wish someone would ask me to dance. I just <sighs> goat male chews on it. She's in her head again. Yeah. <laughs> That voice when she goes into that voice is in her head of the like sh talk show thing. <laughs> <laughs> yes, it's, it's, oh, it's that, that moment in the movie where like girl's voice back there. It's like I wish someone would dance with me. And he turns to the boy and he's like, like mm -hmm. hmm. I wonder. <laughs> and he just and he goes up. He just barely notices you. And Ignatius, um, he kind of juts himself up a little bit and he kind of puts on like almost like a tango ish pose. And it Ooh. goes, oh my gosh. might you be interested in joining me? <laughs> all right, everyone. Hate to spoil the moment, ask. but we all got to get out of here. Yeah. <laughs> uh, got word that the guards are uh, patrolling past this point. So uh, there's apparently been some noise complaints and we ain't going to have this business going on. So how about all of you get one gold off your tab and we can leave? Sure. I'll cut the music. Sure. And I'll cut and we stand up. Yeah. Um. That's right. I kind of just like I just like bow time. at Nick with like a smile. Oh, most that. definitely. <laughs> <laughs> Very out Never of character we elegance. Doing. Yeah. 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 Doing one of those like, mm -hmm. what's the what's the dance from um, like it's very niche reference, but like the um Hunger Games like in the last movie when they have the wedding and they're just doing like or no that's Harry Potter when like Luna and her dad are like doing that little dance and they're just like oh. they're not like mm -hmm. slow dancing but they're like dancing with each other mm -hmm. yeah yeah so yeah <laughs> Wick will so do you all this. vacate the premises <laughs> Wick yes. will remember yes. Rex asked her to dance <laughs> Rex are you even saying so manly if there's policemen around, I am going to do a lovely uh, cast of Pass Without Trace. Ooh. Okay. Hey. So I'm the 10th lets you teammates. out the back Thanks. door, so you have, uh, you know, I'd say advantage on it, plus you have Pass Without Trace plus 10. Everyone make me a stealth check. Uh, oh, boy. Also a disadvantage for many of you, so it's just a flat roll. Yeah, a lot of us had okay. out. Yeah, who is it at disadvantage for? <laughs> I'm, def I'm definitely at disadvantage. Totally yeah, I'll leave it up to you guys who's at disadvantage and who's not. Yeah, I mean, I had one alcoholic beverage and rolled a 22 or 19 wow, on my Wow, I had like a dozen fine. and I somehow rolled like decent compared to... Yeah, you're used to this stuff. <laughs> yeah. Wick is kind of loud, so I'm going to do it at flat because we have advantage, question mark? You, um, depends on how much you've been myself. drinking. Somehow I'm I had like, healthiest. I think that Wick probably would have like wanted to get like a good buzz going. So like four or something, but like she'll also make herself look like a tiefling. Like a, um, I don't know, like a, uh, let's go with. Yeah, so you have a flat gray. roll. I'm just gonna throw it out there. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. Um, but yeah, with the pass without trace, you know what, um, it's uncommon to make this type of thing, but it is a concentration spell. Kano, yep. can you make me a constitution save to make sure Most in your state definitely. at the moment you can keep up concentration I'd on love this spell? To. <laughs> Just barely past the 10 DC you have to hit. <laughs> and yeah, so you all have a plus 10, so there's a 14 and an 18. So. <clears throat> okay. Let's see how these guard, these patrolling guards look around. Oh dear! <laughs> <laughs> yeah, figured that one. So yeah. the crowd of you is walking out the back of this establishment, and you happen across 
two guards. I'm just saying, I don't think that was chocolate milk in that cup. <laughs> I've never had this reaction to chocolate milk before. I, don't, anemone, I feel anemone. weird. It wasn't chocolate milk. Hold on, what's going on over here? Ah, sorry, officer. Uh, not much. You're just out for a midnight He's stroll. He's a policeman. We've been. Uh... We're in trouble. <laughs> Bonk. <laughs> Ow! What was that for? We were out a bit on a midnight stroll. We've been out for the last few days doing some work for Titan's Watch and the Overseer. So we were just you enjoying our first night back heads. in town. And that was it. Getting some nice fresh air. We've been inside the Titan for so long. So you all are just strolling around through here. Yes. Yeah, coming out of make a persuasion the check. Place. You are getting us? some food. All Is yeah, are all of us persuading. I think it's me. So yeah, it's gonna it be Milo be. right here. I'm very persuasive. You're not hurting him. <laughs> Why am I more persuasive? Why am I the only one who's Milo. sober? <laughs> I mean, you're yeah, not. You're so who drank. Te yeah. Technically, I'm sober too. I had a good con save. I resist. I've got like, I'm like drunk, but I've been drunk so many times that I'm just. If like, you go yeah. into the yeah, belly of the Titan and drunk. come back, yeah. <laughs> you're gonna be a little woo -woo too. So. I'm sorry. There's you went into the belly missed. of the Titan. I went yes. up things the things butt. Your mind. I went through the legs. I went through the belly and I came out of its mouth after I'm we sorry, killed sir. the worm. We have had a very worm? crazy night. There's been a lot of things going on and obviously uh, my, my party's feeling a bit bedraggled from everything we just did. So uh, it'd be really appreciative if we could head back to our homes for the evening. We were just on our way home. All right, but tell me one thing. Um. Has this elf been drinking? This one? Me? Elf. Yes. Then just, everyone looks at Milo like, what? <laughs> the one who's drinking the least. Yeah. I mean, Let's drink I had me. some water not too so long ago. Between you and I, he's always like that. Hmm. <laughs> Alright, I'm gonna have to ask you to spell the, uh, Alphabet backwards. It's the alphabet backwards. Make an intelligence. Comment save. is not even <laughs> my first language. Intelligence save. Yep. Save. At least okay. it's, it's still intelligence. At least it's the one person who has got it. <laughs> 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 you really tried. You really tried your best. No way. Man is a plus seven. <laughs> and he double wow. zeroed. Oh no. <laughs> Wowzers. You tried so hard. The game was like, <laughs> no. The game was like, you played this RP wrong. <laughs> yeah. I, just, Karma. I have How to take a moment away drunk. from the game and just juxtapose this with the moment Mitch had but six days ago. Yeah. When this man rolled a double, double crit on his mm -hmm. beautiful spell to expel them out of the uh, throat worm. Mm hmm. <laughs> Milo just rolled double ones. Yeah. Uh, Let's go. I, I try to do it backwards, but like half of it turns into the Elvish alphabet as well. Yep. So it's like it's just like the words that they wouldn't even or letters that they wouldn't even know. Some of it's actually just also magic runes. <laughs> it's all wrong. You're just like reciting your like wizard. Yeah. <laughs> all right. I accidentally cast like a minor illusions that like way over there. <laughs> Sir. <laughs> Where have you yeah. been obtaining whatever's made you like this? <laughs> I do not know what you're talking about. I have not had any alcohol tonight. Common is not my first language. It's true. He speaks in a funny accent. And I'll just speak entirely in, in Elvish. See, this is Elvish. This is my first tongue. I very bad with common, uh, and I can only get a, around usually with a bad accent and some 
poor misspellings. <sighs> he does that a lot. Ze coco, ze popo. Bonk. Ow! <laughs> Where do all of you happen to be staying tonight? Is Spark is it? Spark yes, with us? Yes, yes, Spark is us. He's staying with Spark. I'm sleeping with the goat. <laughs> <laughs> we are staying at Spark. Oh no! Yes. Our friend's here's house. Yes. That's where we're staying. Which one? The, the house here? No. no. Sparkelius. His house yeah, is... Sparkelius' house here. No, Sparkelius no. is the 13th. The 13th. It... Oh. There's a lot of them. Yeah, 13 of them. Sparkelius oh, yeah, owns of the goat. <laughs> Sparkelius that I'm sleeping with. with. Sparkelius. <laughs> the cousins are all in the 20s. <laughs> <laughs> all right, you all get back there now. I'm just... Thank you. Thank you. God. Thanks. You're a really cool guard. Sure. And he goes and begins to knock on the door of the building you guys are just in. <laughs> and just like, and just like, salute, run, like, run, have run. a good night. <laughs> Why did he think that I was drinking? I am perfectly fine. <laughs> You're fine. I didn't know. believe you. <laughs> The I way know. you kind of spoke there seemed a bit uh, suspicious. Yeah, it was a little yeah. sus if you ask Apparently, me. Apparently, every way that I speak is suspicious to every guard I have ever met. I mean, okay, maybe but... you just can't hold your liquor. That could be a hold thing, up, too. Hold up, hold yeah. up. We're all speaking. You definitely one. can't hold you... your liquor. If you're not speaking like this, how we are, because we can't control our tongue, then, like, they're going to think you're the outlier. So what you're saying is they did not like me because I am different. Yes, they pulled they the didn't race. like it was, you. It was a bit of racism, yes. Yeah. yeah, probably. I will try to fix my accent then. No, you don't need to change. I like <laughs> Tomorrow morning he just comes out accent. talking like, Oi, how's it going? Now? Oi, Browns. <laughs> it's me, Milo. <laughs> <laughs> my like illusion. Cuckoo's a poo-poo. My illusion. I like it. Oi, cash fireball. <laughs> Fireball. Fireball. <laughs> no, Milo, you don't need to change for anybody, okay? You are fine the way that you are. They're the one with the problem. Yeah. I've told you this before. How many times am I going to tell you? Don't change for people. The cuckoo, is... the poo poo. It's true. I live Let's by that go. every Let's day. Go get some. Yeah. Rest. It is late. It is indeed. You will most likely sleep in tomorrow morning. I, as we walk up, I swoop a bit at me in my arms so I can bring her home. Oh, yes. And the overseer ah. wanted to see Ignatius as well. So we should probably get some rest. Goat meals like. Just drop that casually. <laughs> <laughs> information. I told that information. earlier. I know that information, so I don't. <laughs> and then Wicked's just like, oh, sh we forgot to say that. <laughs> <laughs> no, no, Wick is like true. Yeah, okay. yeah. She's already like that, but like, no, now they're <laughs> drunk. So I mean, well, you all make your way back to Sparkelius's cottage, and then when he falls asleep in Iggy's arms, she is attractively snoring really loud. Attractively. She's attractively snoring. <laughs> Don't just stop recording that. Like. Stop it. <laughs> you knew immediately what was happening. So her <laughs> eyes <laughs> looked to the <laughs> side. <laughs> he knows where my GoXLR is. <laughs> while, uh, while everyone is heading to sleep, I'll start playing like a little bit of that like kind of calming like lullaby music. Oh. I would, I'll head to sleep last. So loud. And you all managed to find various levels of sleep. As we move into the new day. And then many is sleeping sleeping in. Okay. Yeah, I'll be up for a long rest. Yep, yeah. feel free to I'll, I'll probably be tap up in a long rest too, to oh. be honest. Well, I'm up four hours earlier than everyone else, naturally. Oh God! God, the goat. That's that's just that's just 
goat meal in the morning when <laughs> then he wakes up. <laughs> Just waiting. <laughs> <laughs> Uh, I guess early in the morning, similar to the day before we left, uh, I'll make us up some nice tea, heat up the water, yeah. All right. and then I'll leave the tea out as I, uh, I'll head out in the morning, get some time to think. A little note as well, just letting them know that I'm, I'll be back soon. Okay. I suppose at this moment there's a a full day to kill. You all have various freedoms throughout the town, so we're going to go into a moment of uh, seeing how everyone spends their downtime. Mm. <gasps> the best. Mm -hmm. Milo, since you said all first in the morning, how does Milo decide to spend his day today? Uh, what's the weather like? It's overcast it's not, <laughs> it's not the prettiest it, of places it's, it's really nice raining. for what you've established yeah what okay, you've experienced raining. here um i'd like to try and find a place with some clean water if i could um at least non-electrocuted water <laughs> um to, uh, to sort of wash off. We've been kind of under or inside the ground for a bit. Indeed. Uh, face a lot, got a lot of bloodied marks. I would like to wash off and clean up a little bit. Okay. Um, you find one of the various wells in this village and manage to wash off without much problem. Uh, okay, so when he takes off his, his, like, big, sort of, like, kind of buttoned up, nice college shirt, um, you see this big, kind of sprawling, almost spider web, uh, like, black tar mark, uh, over his, uh, heart, where his heart would be. Um, and he kind of just wipes down the cuts and the bruises, um, Cleans them out, make sure they're, you know, disinfected and stuff like that as best as he can. Um, and then, you know, he'll uh, find a place sort of out on the beach to try and sit down and dry off a little bit before uh, heading back. And he's going to half be looking in the new wizard's book that he found and then half sort of writing notes, crumpling them up, throwing them into the ocean writing another note, crumpling it up, throwing it into the ocean, burning through paper and ink. Like, mm -hmm. he's a little richer than he probably is. So. Different bits of crumpled paper begin to take off as the tide pushes and pulls them further and further out to the mm -hmm. open sea. And then, um, as sort of like the sun breaks... And I kind of have an idea of when everyone else will probably be up. I'll grab my wet clothes and head back uh, to the cabin of or cottage of Sparkelius. Ignatius, what are you up to? Mm -hmm. Well, Ignatius is... He probably, I guess, knowing his schedule and routine... Um, he probably wouldn't get to, uh, wouldn't be too far behind Milo in terms of waking up. Um, he'd read the note, and he'd go outside for maybe about an hour of like physical training. So you know, he, it's the first time he's been out of the cave. He wants to make sure he's keeping up shape, so he's going through his kind of regular regiment. Um, and then after he's finished, he'd want to go inside, get a bit of refreshment, and probably sort of at the, um, he's looking to get information from Sparkella about if there's any good places to go around town um, for kind of stocking back up on goods because at least right now his inventory is pretty minimalistic. So he'd be looking to see if there's anything he can go and get um, to replenish his stocks and kind yeah, of Spark get... Sparkella seems over there, yeah, you must have gone through a lot all your time down there. Yeah, it was... 
definitely an experience that, uh, you know, it's, it is what it is. But if nothing else, the only thing that's bad about it is I really don't have much left in my name at this point. So being able to get myself ready for another adventure with this group would be ideal, especially if I'm going to be sticking with them. Which, by the way, I would much rather prefer that I be alive with regards to Titan's Watches compared right, to dead. Fair. Because fair enough. a lot to my name. Understood. I will... You know what, here. And he uh, reaches into a drawer that he has in his cabin, passes you a bag. Look, I know it's not exactly what you probably should be paid at this point, but it's a little something, and I can make sure they get it back to me. Um, for all your repeated service, I suppose. Uh, it's 20, 25 gold in there. It'll at least get you set back up with food, provisions, all that. Anything you might need. Thank you. <clears throat> that means quite a lot. Certainly I'll say that deserve. you're uh, alive and well. No, you know course be able to send pay back this way that'll be good and then yeah uh, and keep keep me appraised if, if they really do give you trouble for me being alive as compared to dead it's not gonna I'll be make much sure trouble i mean it's just yeah, yeah yeah it's just not gonna be much trouble don't worry about it all right because if, if they do bring you any trouble i'm not opposed to telling them that it's much better off that i'm alive as compared to them being. i'm dead. sure they know i'm sure they know it's not about you being alive. It's about my reports being uh, falsified a little bit. I may have taken well, some creative lying. liberties on how of which you uh, met your demise. Oh, I see. Well, that's that's on Normally, you. people don't survive being swallowed by the throat worm. Ironically enough, um, all y'all are here because you were swallowed by the throat worm and survived. <laughs> <laughs> so that's going to add a whole new level to the story. Well, yeah, you're pretty creative, Sparkelius. I'm sure you'll find a way to make it all work out. See what we can do. Anyway, yeah, that should get you everything you need in town. Thank Let me you. Know if you have I trouble. appreciate it. Yeah, for sure. I'll uh, I'll wait and see how everyone else wakes up, and then I'll see if anyone want to go to town with me. Goat meal, you gonna wake up yet? It's not fair enough. <clears throat> oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. Of course, of course. We'll get to it then. People in this town like to be early. Hmm. Next up, we have uh, Rex. Hello. Rex, you got a little bit of downtime to spend. How does Rex spend his day? Uh, just waiting. Well, he did spend a, quite a bit of alone time yesterday. He did also drank a lot the night before, which was nice. Something he hasn't done in a while. Uh, um, he's probably drinking the tea that Milo left out. And he's probably going to wait for a uh, wake to wake up to ask if she wants to like go around town. Yeah, I think wake at this moment you wake up. <laughs> oh my god. You know, I figured that might have been a bit too much alcohol for you. Nowhere near close as anemone, so I'll take it. Didn't anemone only have like two? Yeah, but like the size of compared to her body. Oh wait, 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 He's coming in to delete that sound. Yeah, off the soundboard. He doesn't know how. No, he's still there. He's no, gonna he's figure it out. He'll see. just take the whole Go XLR. I he can't just, talk he anymore he if he does. He just the power button on your computer. <laughs> yeah, dish. And then he's done. I don't know where he went. He might have gone to the bathroom. Just waiting. Well, it, mm -hmm. it seems that Nenmini is still sleeping. Apparently. <laughs> Very much tell always if she's alive or asleep. Um, yeah. But you got your drinks. You got your alcohol. Yeah, finally. 
How are oh. you feeling? Fine? Clearly? Yeah, I'm feeling fine. What'd you do? <laughs> well, I had to go pee an hour ago. And there's two characters <laughs> oh, talking to each other, so I dipped. Right. We thought you were going to do something we else. We fully no. expected you to go try and delete that sound from a GoXLive. <laughs> we thought you were going to gaze. I didn't even hear the sound, if I'm being honest. Oh, oh okay. Uh, anyway. Well, it was pretty perfect timing, because I went... I yeah. also <laughs> figured a, it might be funnier if I don't say anything and just see what you guys come up with in the meanwhile. Okay. So well, we it made it there. Turns good. out good it was funny. Yeah. We thought so you were gonna come the beat moment. Me. We're hilarious. Yeah. So yeah. turns out it's hilarious. <laughs> I'm oh. so funny when I completely rely on all y'all improv. It's great. <laughs> <laughs> it's so funny when my friends do all the work. Yep. <laughs> <laughs> Anyway, you came back by yourself yesterday. Did you go? Did you go talk to the late the orc lady and apologize for us? Oh, God no. <laughs> I I feel like uh, it wouldn't be much of a conversation, more or less a fight, and I'm not willing to fight a woman of her nature. She'd what? probably kick my ass, is what I'm saying. Oh, uh, yeah. <laughs> And look, I, I like stuff woman, but there's a difference between... You know what? Never mind. It's fine. Regardless, okay. I was I was wondering what you were up to today. I'm just going to probably walk around town and look around. So I was wondering if you wanted to join. Oh, 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 oh before. And I pull the boots out. Do these fit you? <laughs> what? <laughs> these boots. Wait. They're really big. Do <laughs> this Rex you can't already have boots? No, I don't wear I don't wear shoes. <laughs> I'm barefoot. I've been this barefoot this entire the time. Gri the greatest long long con possible. <laughs> um, he's got to put them tucked away. <laughs> uh, I, have you I given that away for I don't, free? I don't, I don't, I don't know. Rex, just do some big old boots, you know. Uh, I mean, I could try them on, I guess. Okay. You try them on. Um, so if they fit, um, and how, how I, do you put this on? They should just be slip. Like you just pull your pull it over your foot. Do they have laces on them? Yeah. Okay. What what are? What and are then they're like says Balenciaga boots. They're just like kind of Mario <laughs> shoes. What's a what's a lace? I can do it. I can teach you. I can show you. <laughs> put them on. Do they messing fit? with my foot. <laughs> You get yeah, the claw yeah. in the back yeah. in. Look at his yeah, foot. Yeah, it has a claw popping out the back a little bit. Yeah. Of course, the foot's a little spread out towards the front. It's uh, not maybe designed to fit a uh, Genasi boot. but Are they uncomfortable? Wiggle your toe. <laughs> <laughs> your toes like are I'm very like... uncomfortable. Everything yeah, else seems say, to like, fit. Like, like if I wiggle, I think I might like my my toe might go through the boot. Darn, okay. I'll figure something out then. Was there a reason you wanted me to wear boots? Well, no, so I've been thinking um, of like things that I could potentially make to like help. And I'll, I want to go, I do want to go into town with you um, because I want to go and get some like goggles that I want to then like work on and like tinker with and make them so that we can, one of us can maybe see in the dark because a lot of us were struggling with that. Um, and I would like to be able to see because a lot of my stuff is long range. Um, but the boots, I was hoping that I can like do some stuff with them and make them like, like cushionier and like more like stealthy, I guess. And like, I know you wear heavy armor and they were really big boots. So I was like, oh, maybe Rex, Rex can wear them. I'll be completely honest. I've never worn boots before, mm. let alone, I, I think you call them shoes. Uh, yeah, and I'll like pull my my boot up. My I have like knee high boots. Yeah, Ooh, I can't boot. really wear those unless you got oh. armor that can go over my feet. That's about it. I could try and make something like that. Little hmm. like feet bracers, kind of. Probably. Okay. Well, yeah. I just wanted to pick up more components. I wanted to pick up some goggles. I wanted to um and like kind of start like. Working on that, but that'll probably be a longer process. Oh, I do have one more thing for you. Here. 
I wanted to give this to you last night because you seemed like you were in a good mood and that you would maybe accept it if you were in a good mood. Um, here you go. And I give you, it's a little wooden carving of your holy symbol, but any points or any parts that come off are connected by like string. So it kind of like moves a little bit. It's, it's not just like, like a, a solid catcher? wooden. Kind, well, it's kind it's of, it's kind of like a, like a wood, like, you know how like wooden dolls are connected like with string to like at the joints. Mm -hmm. It's kind of like that, but like it's holding it it's all together. It's an articulated holy symbol. Yeah. Like a, almost like a kind of puppety in a way. Ooh, kind of. I made like an that, actual this, this like hand shakes. puppet of yeah. um, goat meal for anemone, but I wanted this to be more like a, almost like an ornament kind of, but like it's just like a little wooden carving. I made this for you. He kind of like just picks it up and like looks at it. Oh. You don't have to do anything was, with it. I just uh, let you go. That was surprisingly nice of you. I'm making I'm making everyone one. I made Milo one, and now I gotta like think of something for Iggy. So. Hmm. And you like see him like smile for like maybe like a second. And then he she like immediately just goes like... back to like his normal face. She'll as like he's, clock like, as he's, it, like, but like at it. <laughs> okay, what do you need to do in town? Hmm. Well, I mean, you did mention the orc woman. I don't. Uh... Uh... I don't know if I could smooth my way out of a uh, possible fight. With um, her. I also gave her something that disappeared, so I don't think that she'd be too happy with me. Same with Shydock, but I mean. Well, I do have one thing I could probably give her that might make her happy, but. Why y'all looking at me like that? Oh, calm yourselves. <laughs> <laughs> Nasty. Do we need to go back to the speakeasy for that? No. Okay. That's speaking real easy. <laughs> <laughs> Smooth talking. Yeah. Slow walking, <laughs> rocking, whatever. He's He's got got everything that, that a boy. <laughs> Guitar, Guitar cutie. He plays a groove. Okay, stupid. No, you want armor. Uh, well, I mean, I have my armor, and if we're leaving here soon, then mm -hmm. I don't have to wear this anymore. I can actually wear That's my own true. armor. Don't you have to give that back to her? Yeah, I probably should. I probably should go talk to her. Oh, it was a loner. <laughs> yeah, right. I probably should go talk to her. Rex okay, also took that. um the armor from Kameo. Yeah, so he has that, that to replace too. it anyway. That's true. Yeah. And he has his original armor that he had to take off immediately when we got yep. here. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> okay, then I will make myself look like... um. Maybe that like tiefling from last night, just because it's still fresh on my mind of just like a gray skin, got the horns that kind of go back and up and then got two that come down, um, short hair. Or maybe I'll like leave some, I'll, like change up how like the layers look on me. I'll make like a shawl wrap or something and just change how I look. You're a different okay. person now. Let's go to the orc lady and hopefully she doesn't kill us. Yeah. That would be good. Let's go. Right. You guys head into <laughs> town? At some point. <laughs> Baywatch running? At yeah, some just... point, I also do need to actually get back. I did say I was leaving, like, as soon as people were waking up. Like, roughly around that time. So. All right. No one told me the plan, so I have no idea when we need to be back. To go yeah, talk to the overseer. Well, I think there really is a plan people. at this point, so I feel like it's kind of open to run totally into people. <laughs> you might I mean, we're, I mean, you, you still have you still got Ignatius, who's at, you know, um, an enemy still hasn't woken up yet. Yeah, yeah. You got an enemy. Lucky we're you. We're early risers. It's fine. An enemy sleeps in. <laughs> Anemone always sleeps in, but this time she's hung over sleeping in, so... Yeah, it might be a really bit sleeping in. It might be a while. <laughs> yeah, you guys come to the market, you see the familiar orc woman hammering away at an anvil. Seems okay. she's working on some sort of weapon at this point. 
You know, most of the time I'm not nervous talking to a woman, but this is definitely one of those times. <laughs> Insight check. <laughs> Insight Go check. ahead. Why are you so nervous? He was nervous last time. <laughs> he seems to believe what he's saying right now. Yeah. <laughs> hmm. Is it just like something about her, you know? Like, is it just like, are you like terrified or are you just like, you uh, want to like make a good impression? Ooh, mama. Not mommy. <laughs> <laughs> Uh, she beads really... of sweat Ooh. drop from her brow as she continues working over a hot yeah. her muscles <laughs> bed of coals. With every strike. <laughs> a a slight rhythm. coat of soot and grease mm. cover. <laughs> she wipes her <laughs> forehead. The sun glistens. Off her, she just Beaming has like forearms. hands her face going where she's like Oh yeah. And she just, and she just hits it every time. <laughs> Effortlessly. <laughs> I don't really know if it's... It's just a lot, knowing that she might end up killing me before I could even get a word out. I think out of everyone there, she liked you the most. We, I feel sure like about we, that? I feel, it's fine, I felt like we kind of annoyed her a little bit. Um, uh, so... <laughs> I know, <don't you> <laughs> Yeah. Um, but you, like, it was going great, and then... She was, was like not wanting a deal, and then I wanted to give her something, and then she was like, mm, "No, that's not a value to me." And then Shydock was like, "Here you go. Here's this like gigantic diamond." Yeah, and I feel like that's where I'm gonna. That's yeah. Oh, God. Okay. Uh. It's fine. Yeah. He's gone now, so like we can just say that, and then yeah, she'll that'll, feel bad. that'll make and her then... feel so much better about being robbed. Basically. Well, she won't be bad anymore because, like, she can't feel bad because he's dead, right? Rex, can you make me a dexterity saving throw? Oh. Sure. Oh, I don't know if it quite. Oh, oh, oh no! Oh, she just tossed like a hammer at hammer, him or yeah. something. Yeah. Oh, Thor hammer just dead in the <laughs> chest. <laughs> you take two points of damage as yes. Ow. <laughs> A hammer just thuds you in the chest. Ah. Oh. God. Yeah, so, yes, yeah, she liked me the most, right? She liked me the most, right? Maybe this is her way of flirting. <laughs> That's her way of flirting. You. Nothing like absolutely beating the crap out of the person you like. <sighs> let's get, let's go talk to her. Maybe let's get a little bit closer, but not. Can I pick up the hammer? <laughs> yep. Okay. And I walk up and I drop the hammer on the table. And I'm like, I think you dropped this. Clink, clink, clink. She picks it back up and just silently begins working again. My elbow rubs it. <laughs> I, I know what we did was wrong last time. Also, I didn't know about the whole fake diamond thing or whatever that was, whether you believe me or not. But I am here to return the armor that you did lend us in keeping up the end of the bargain. She takes the stuff she's working on off the anvil. Just gestures out in front of it. Well, go ahead. Like, I need to take it off, like, in the middle of the open? You said you wanted to return it. Yeah, but I figured maybe you'd give me a minute. I'll be on with it. You didn't take it off in the fire. Strip for her son. I was going to her today. <laughs> oh, oh. Uh, well, uh, you, you see, uh, I usually don't mind being naked, but uh, this is a bit weird to be doing it in public. It's a bit weird, yeah. Can uh, It's a bit weird to be paid in things that disappear too, isn't it? Hey, look, oh, I didn't oh. know about that. Hmm. Where's your friend at? Currently uh, on a boat, uh, floating on a river, uh, if you catch my drift. Lucky him. Yeah, lucky him. Ah, uh, love of God. Well? Can I, like, I just want to like, look around. 
It's the market. There's a bunch of people around. God, what At least a dozen in ah! eye shot. I know why. Um, I will stay take it off. Behind. Take it off and face the take market and like off. watch to make sure no one is like looking. I'll, I'll like, I'll try and body block with the with my tiny little. There's body. at least five people looking just because there's a commotion happening over here right now. Oi! Does this really? What are you looking at? Avert your eyes and go on your business. Oof. Can't you get a man a bit of privacy? I don't huh? think I will. <laughs> <laughs> Is there any way I could persuade her to go somewhere else to change? Make a persuasion check. Oh. God. I start conjuring a firebolt at the at the <laughs> person who told me that. Ooh. I say get. <laughs> All right, fine. Get into the shop. Do it there. Oh, thank you. <laughs> she uh, opens a little... She's got a little draw curtain to let you into the shop. Okay. She stands there watching. <laughs> you know, watch. Oh. All right, f fine. If, if you know, then fine. Whatever. I guess we'll be even. Uh, and I then it's even, but it, believe me, it'll never mind. Just, just uh, Wick or Mick, I just stay here. Oh, I didn't leave. I'm still like at the front of the shop, like body Okay. okay. Uh, and I guess I go in and uh, strip. <laughs> You gotta change the music. Oh, um. Sexy saxophone. <laughs> yeah, I need Why like. Why don't I have I any of like, this? Wow, I need, wow, I need wow, like, wow, I need wow. like hella sexy saxophone right now. Uh, uh, yeah, I was thinking more like Careless Whisper where it's like. Yeah, exactly. <laughs> Careful. Careless Whisper is highly copywritten. <laughs> this might be as close as I got for you. <laughs> <laughs> Closer. Sure. That's the closest. Man, we're still miles away. I didn't prep my spells for this morning. I didn't Could prep I... my music for this moment, so we're so, also. You didn't prep what any learning, music for what, what you're happens learning today. So what you're learning oh, by today's session is you need to put now. a lot more. So music I in. guess while I'm I'm stripping, I'm probably like talking quite loud mm -hmm. okay. uh, to this orc woman. Um, be like, look, whatever you see, you cannot tell anyone. All right. We'll see. <sighs> okay, fine. And then I just start stripping out of my robes, out of my armor. <laughs> oh, no, it's... Uh, well? Well, what? Hand it over. I just, I pick up the armor from underneath my legs and I give it to her. Now, can I put my robe back on? So, what's the big deal? The, wait, you don't know? Your dragonborn? And in that moment, Rex is very thankful <laughs> <laughs> that she does not know <laughs> what he thinks she should have known. <laughs> yes, I'm dragonborn. Yes. As I like quickly try to like put my robes back on. <laughs> Do a little hop? <laughs> yeah, 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 yeah. yeah. Somehow finds a piece of toast and puts it in his mouth. <laughs> okay. Well, I've already been sent money to be recompensed for the armor, but appreciate it. Oh, and uh, before I go back outside. I want to go into my uh, pocket where the yesterday 
I was I was collecting all the scales. Mm -hmm. And I hand her at least ten of them. Oh. Um, and I give her them. And I'm like, remember. What, did you shave this morning or something? No. <laughs> Look, Here's have yours or the, or the <laughs> throat worms? <laughs> no, mine. <laughs> oh. Here's and I my just, I like, mustache here. and I, I, I whisper to her, and I'm like, these are pure gold. Do not tell anyone that you saw my scales. She holds one up and bites it. <laughs> And that, that's, that's full metallic gold. It's valuable. Okay. Got any more where that came from? <laughs> yes. Why? How much do you want? How many scales you got loose? <laughs> This is a new level of extortion. Yeah. You could just let it go. Alley jumping. <laughs> well, she reaches really out towards your arm. Selling his kidney on the black market. And, and goes to pet your scales, but backwards. Uh, uh. Oh, Ooh. I don't think I like the orc woman anymore. I can give you, like, maybe 15 more. But I'd probably have to strip again. Because I can wait. Oh my god. Oof. Uh, you know, when I get naked, other things happen. This is not the happiest I've been when I've been naked. <laughs> we cut to the outside of the tent, Wick. This is what you're hearing. Yeah, you're just hearing this. <laughs> Do I actually. Hold on. My, I, would, my yeah, I'm, I told you, high. I'm talking like quite loud. Yeah, my, yes. my passive perception is quite high too. <laughs> just. Hardly even a door on this place. Yeah, so. it's like yeah. essentially a, a blanket over a doorway. Yep. Yeah. I'm just gonna like, what the? Fuck? <laughs> <laughs> I thought the Fey were wild. <laughs> <laughs> Moments pass and Rex pops out with a defeated look on his face. Not how I expected you to come out of that uh, back room, but are you? you satisfied? <laughs> did, did, did it go just... well? Well, it went well. <clears throat> you got naked <laughs> twice. <laughs> <laughs> Round two. <laughs> Last of two rounds. <laughs> and went well. And tonight on the Zyla Pony channel, Degeneracy. <laughs> That's great. Can, can, can we leave now? Yeah, yeah. Okay. Mm. Mm. All right. Mm. Anything else the two of you are doing? Um, I just need stuff. I like, get stuff. I want to get, I want goggles and component stuff. I'll say you can need... find them all pretty easily. I think the only thing that I want people to find very easily is ruby dust. But I mean, I can get yeah. a ruby. Maybe. I'll say oh, there's probably player? no uh, no jewelers with rubies okay. in this town. All good. How much was for drinks last night, too? <laughs> a couple gold? or? I'll rip some gold away from you guys later. It's... Yeah, I was going to say, I drank a lot, yeah. so I expect a lot of it to be out of my inventory. <laughs> yep. <laughs> we go back to the uh, cottage. Milo, you return. What are you up to now? Me? Mm-hmm. Um, Anything else? Just kind of sitting outside the cottage. I have my shirt and my coat that are still probably soaking wet. Slung up, trying to dry off. So, I'm just waiting for people to get back. Ignatius, this is the time when you return. Uh, uh, Alright. <sighs> Got a thing, is that a... Oh, hey. Hey, uh, is, uh, uh, hell was that? Good, uh, good morning. <laughs> Mitch and I made the exact same face. <laughs> we we're like, huh? So unexpected. <laughs> <laughs> like, hobbling down the street. 
things go for a three hour workout? It just caught me, me so off guard. <laughs> Oh my gosh. Sorry, I just um I just went to to town for a moment, grabbed a few things. Uh got some supplies from uh from our dear friend. <laughs> well now I'm here. Let's see. Yes. Uh I was just getting a bit of a wash in this morning, cleaning off my clothes as you can see. Yeah. Uh so I was waiting for you as well. Oh, oh you were waiting for me? <laughs> yes. Uh, I do not know where the others are, but I was thinking uh, the overseer wanted to see you, and uh, Rick said that you should not go alone. So. Oh. Um, well, that's something I can certainly arrange. I don't have any other specific plans I need to attend to today. Uh, an enemy's still sleeping in there. Do we want to... At least keep her informed of what's going on for Um, there is. I mean, I think we can. Uh, let. Oh, yes. I can keep an eye yes. on things here if you like. Oh, All right, thank, thank you, Jorik. I appreciate Chork. it. Yes, that is very kind of you. I think I'll I'm sit just... outside. However, the noise is noisy. Yes. <laughs> Would you mind uh, watching my shirt? I'm just going to take my coat with me. Uh, it is just drying off. Sure. Thank you. Uh, I'll sling my coat over. The the big, big black tar spider thing kind of still jutting out. Lots yeah, of you the bathrobe wounds. your way out of there? Yeah. Sort of, yeah. <laughs> kind of that. Uh, and I said, uh, well, we should head off to the uh, OSCR. We get this over with so that we can clear plans for tomorrow and head on our way home finally sounds like a plan to me and I'll follow right behind Milo mm -hmm. alright you guys return to the overseer's home hey. somewhere where you've seen before Ignatius but obviously it's been quite a long time oh. okay it's about the same as I remember, sort of. I mean, it's not like you were gone for years. This was only a couple of months. No, but at least around here, a lot of things can change in a matter of a few months. Obviously, I mean, for me, a whole new group of people came up after me and decided to do my job. So, yes. Um, well, I'm gonna go ahead and knock on the door then and see if he has a home. But I think that we should uh, be careful not enter his home. He seemed oh. a bit, uh, Wixie said that he was a bit shady last night, a bit shifty, oh. uneasy. And he especially okay. kept bringing up you, and I did not mention Chohek, but uh, please do not as well. Oh, yeah, he did mention that the other day. Yeah. Yes. No, that shouldn't be a problem. Okay. <clears throat> Knock on the door. Door opens up. The same hulking figure stands before you. Hmm. Well, I'll be. Looks like you survived. I did. It's good to see you again, Overseer. Good to see you as well. I'd like to talk to you in private, if that's all right. Um. Sure. There's a. Uh... As long as you don't mind my friend here sticking around in the general area. Of course. You can wait outside. I would right. like to uh, actually stay with uh, my friend here. Uh, if possible. Your friend seems to think it's okay that he can speak on his own behalf. I just look at, I look at Ignatius and I'm like, are you... We could ditch this if you want ah, he keeps you and he says my uh my friend here understands the trauma I've gone through recently and uh he just wants to make sure everything's alright thing that can't be said in front of both of us might not be the best being said in private anyway fine we'll speak right here 
So, okay. what kept you alive so long? Kept me alive? Well, I was surviving down there with a number of people that were put under a sort of mind control influence of some some guy named Kameo. As your friend told me a little bit, who was down there with you? Who was down there? Um, there were a few miners um, and a few people who I think had come by that had been drafted into sort of his cause. Anyone who kind of stumbled upon the area and ended up being down there with him. Got to know a lot of them. You got to know them. You got names of those miners that were with you? Those are people under my charge. I'm responsible for them. Yeah, I mean... I remember there was Hardrick. Mm. Uh, there's Elik and uh, there are a few others that came by, but unfortunately they seemed to leave Kameo's charge before I could do anything with them. And Hardrick, is he, uh, has he died? Unfortunately so. The rest of them as well? Yeah. Was... Make a deception check, Mr. Paladin. Yeah. He shall. <laughs> Ooh. Yeah. Decent. My face is a sh my face is a straight passive as a you'd mm -hmm. expect from an Earth Genasi. Exactly. It's just like talking to a brick wall. That's talking, giving you straight answers. Exactly what he's asking. And... All right. Any of them ever? tell you much about their life what brought them into the cave unfortunately I didn't get the chance I was only down there for a few months got to know a few of them more personally but even then all of us were consumed by this desire to fall Kameo by the time I was free from it unfortunately in the fighting that ensued there wasn't anyone left aside from myself so I'd like to mm. chime in just quietly uh, typically with charming spellers like such that he used sometimes the minds become so consumed with what the controller wants that the the current the events that happen during that time can become very fuzzy understood understood well glad to see you alive the rest of your uh, previous group meet the same fate unfortunately so at least to my knowledge but I think at least two of the members of my party are for sure dead. There was one more. I didn't see any remnants of them, so I can only hope that they might still be out there somewhere, but I can only assume they met the same fate as well. You managed to get them out of there, or...? No. They were surrounded by, uh... eggs from the worm, and we didn't have a chance. We mainly took whoever we could out of there, and... the rest... Just, uh, out of here, and... Well, if what your friend saying is true about your defeating the beast within, hopefully my crew can get them out of there and get them a proper send off. That'd be nuts. I think they've been out there too long for their memory to truly pass on, which is unfortunate. I tried. I've, if I could have, I would have done the ritual split. Better than that. was time. And... Crumbling the dust. Yeah. But we'll take what we can, make the ones who are still around, or at least the ones who've recently passed, get the proper send-off, and all will be well with the Titans. Good to hear. Well, glad you made it out, and he extends his hand towards you. I put my hand back out to me from a firm handshake. Mm -hmm. The ground shakes a little as they both clap hands, Milo. <laughs> <laughs> I jolt a little bit. <laughs> oh, he, uh, the bonnie people is. Yeah. Think of my head. These two Earth Genasi let go. He nods. Guess you're free to be off now. Yeah. Now we'll be heading out ourselves out of this place. This is our last day before we move on. <clears throat> so, if you have any need of me, then let me know. Otherwise, I just want to say that your men were hardworking. It was a pleasure to know them for when I did. 
appreciate that. I'll let their families know if I can. Stay safe out there. I will. Let me turn around. Making my way out. I'll do a little elvish bow as well, and I'll trail behind. All right. You make your way out, shut the door. Begin walking your way back. Well, Anemone. Oh, go ahead. Hmm? I'm sorry, I'll just do it over here. Um, you weren't kidding. He really was interested in Jork and the others. I told you he was. He seemed uh, curious. I hope he wasn't well. Well, tell him when we get back. Yes. I think it's best if maybe Chalk finds a way to move on uh, somewhere new. Bring him with us. We will. That's also an option. Cool. We're good now. Also, so, actually, quickly, you can keep going as well. Yep. If you need to keep going a little bit longer. Shouldn't be too much longer. Anemone. So everyone's off speaking to the overseer, doing a little shopping. Mm -hmm. Of course. You sleep in, but what are you up to today? My art. Well, you know, it's a sad time a little bit because as much as Anemone has this newfound love of Iggy, she still has this old... <laughs> she has this the old... old flame. The old flame. <laughs> and, you know... <laughs> Why? She can have, like, um, that dream sequence from Oklahoma with Lori where she oh, has, like, the two lovers. this isn't a dream sequence. Um, this is real life, baby. <laughs> this is real life. So Anemone is taking in all this, you know, time that she has with Goat Meal because soon she's moving on. And, um... <laughs> We are not role-playing a breakup between a, a goat and a human. No, right no, I think we are. No, we need no, to see this. Not a breakup. It's on a, it's on a breakup. It's, it's a sad farewell. <laughs> it's no, a it's not a farewell. Not yet. I mean, I have all day. I mean, Anemone has all day with goat meal. God, you he's going to die. So, he's not going to die. <laughs> What's going on then? One um, last day. Oh, put well, down. you know, Anemone and goat meal wake up. They realize everyone's gone they have the house to themselves and things i don't know they just might get a little hot and heavy between the two he's like just stop. <laughs> we went from a weird episode to beyond cursed in the yes. matter of five minutes <laughs> um <laughs> Yeah. More like this, my God. <laughs> Y'all need <laughs> Jesus. What, what do you mean Jesus. by hot and heavy? It's really hot in the cottage. Yeah. So they're sweating. Oh, okay. maybe, maybe it's, it's very not musty all and muggy in the in cottage. They, they, it's more romantic than that. Uh, hello. Yeah, it's yeah, more yeah. romantic than that, guys. I'm <laughs> sure they go out to, you know, the meadow, maybe have a picnic with snacks, and then proceed to have crazy, you know, oh. <laughs> 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 crazy raging goat. Cut, 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 cut it, cut it here, <laughs> cut it here, cut it here. No. I just wonder what she's actually saying. She's probably just in cereal at this point over and over and no, over again. No, she's, she's actually describing it. <laughs> um, okay, okay, um... Wow. Are you... a goat? Or... Oh, yes. <laughs> she's half goat. That's yeah. an important... No, I mean, important she's typically question. half goat, but, you know, you <laughs> recently <laughs> gave me all those, you know... Morph or like you know <laughs> changing, yeah. changing yeah in the middle hey, of well, yeah, yeah <laughs> thanks the Dion wildest for that shape. oh my yeah. god this Go me was like I want to see you wild. change so, sure. you know no, majority of this day as a goat okay god you uh huh 
You, you, that oh. happens. And that's the end of Titan's fall, everybody. Well, I, some, I, was I mean, Titan's <laughs> winch. Yeah, that's that. That's the end of the campaign. That's the right fall. Now. Yeah, <laughs> that's the fall. <laughs> Literally. Um. Unless Isla wants to say something, I will. Uh, yeah, go ahead. Um, okay. Yeah. Um, uh, reel it in. Um, yeah, we, we cut over to Wick. Um, <laughs> Wick very quickly. Wait, He'll hang I out. Finish. There was a total more things that I did. No, hard cut. We'll cut. let you finish up. We'll let you finish up. There's okay? more things than just that. So, okay. Well, also, I wanted to mention, you know, Anemone notices that one. Okay, so Anemone has a collection of bones that she wears. Um, she has the ones. She has the ones around her neck, and she also has some around her waistband. And her and Goatmail happen to notice that one of the bones from her necklace went missing. So they, you know, proceed to, like, look for it and whatever. But the only reason she noticed it was because, you know, the clothes were on the floor, and it was because she was having... <laughs> <laughs> All right. Shut it down. Shut it down. <laughs> Oh, um, she also made snacks. Oh, thank oh. God. <laughs> thank God you for keep snacks. your energy up, oh, you know? My. Yeah. <laughs> oh, yeah. Oh, they How probably... Many rounds? <laughs> um, oh, no, okay. no, 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 no. I mean, there was probably multiple. You know, stamina of, of goats, it's actually pretty surprising. You would, you really wouldn't believe it. Did yeah. they float in water? Goats? Oh, yeah. <laughs> I mean, they can because they're can, so furry. They can swim. And oh, that is where enough. we end the session of Titans yeah. Watch. <laughs> oh no! <laughs> <laughs> oh. What a day! <laughs> well, I wasn't the only one who got naked today. You're next, Diggy. <laughs> 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 We are never, ever getting a he. Zyla is never going to grant us another day off, ever. No. <laughs> yes. No. No we downtime. Just, we we just ruined <clears throat> all chances of like any reprieve from him. We're dead next episode. Like he yeah. will just he will nuke the turtle. You felt bad about you the, like stank. fight. On the contrary, the turtle eats you. Yeah. He knew that I was going to do that. <laughs> He greenlit it. Oh my. He was. I don't feel bad. Oh, I was complicit. <laughs> Why do you think I went last? <laughs> it's not just because Anemone you know, sleeps in. It just was fitting. Oh, Holy she slept in all right. Oh, yeah. So did goat meal. <laughs> <laughs> uh... I, I have no words <laughs> oh my god yeah like episode was getting weird up to that point and i was just like oh my god. <laughs> it really was it was fitting it was just it getting was. more weird we, icing on the cake we started this episode like you know what we're in a weird mood today we ended this episode like no we took it 10 times worse than we possibly could yeah yeah i mean we all knew from like the day we met goat meal that this was coming to happen but we all kind of just hoped it would never come. What do you mean? It's a goat! The day goat meal showed up. What do you we mean? The day I put a goat in the campaign, you know? No, 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 well, no, no, no. obviously, one of the players that is when, going to when... fornicate with this goat. I knew it from the very get-go. Yep. Yep, that's what I figured. I saw that when coming. I know you guys <laughs> When you put it in, you were like, oh, it's a goat. And when the episode happened, we were like, oh, it's a goat. <laughs> Oh, it's a go. smooth talking goat. Yeah, that's true. You gave I, it a, you like, a voice. This. Yeah, you did start it. You gave <laughs> you it really, a specific voice. You, you really allowed win. the love to happen and blossom between the two. So you I sure just, did, and I stand by every moment. You gave him the most <laughs> sultry cowboy voice possible. With the, you know, character that just so happens to have the ability to turn into a goat. I mean... <laughs> They had a connection. D and D is a fantastic game to play with your friends and loved ones. So everyone. many things. You do so much. So, in case anyone has any other um, potential downtime activities that would like to be listed, uh, feel oh. free to send them to me. No, not you. Uh, no. Anyone else who wants to list them? To no, she'll me. just tell you in bed tonight. <laughs> <laughs> oh, uh, feel so free to send them to me. This and that. Yeah. We'll pick up next oh. Friday. 
<laughs> yeah, thank God. Oh boy. Mm -hmm. Right oh, where we left it? off is where we're gonna I, pick no, up. <laughs> no, I will be. No. <laughs> I will be here next Friday, so I do want to just like the one little thing that I wanted to do is just like make yeah, sure that I like touched like Rex's arm well before we like got home and be like, thank you for dancing with me last night. Thank you for running errands with me. Um, it was really nice of you, and I like to see this side. And then I'll go inside. And I'll just, like, leave him with his thoughts if he follows me or not. A little wholesome moment! I just want to say that. But do you uh, have to do it after the goat moment? Yeah, they like, have to yeah. Do it after the goat. Hey! That moment was, I was not new. I was not expecting the goat moment. Look, we'll end, we'll end it on wholesomeness. Like... Rex blushed for a moment. <gasps> Alright. So did oh. goat meal. Yeah, oh. but that's different. He was blushing. That was right. just like, you know. No. <laughs> I, I'm, I'm excited for you two to delve know. into that conversation deeper in the future. Um, yeah. yeah. Oh, but yes, we'll continue next week. Anyone have anything else they'd like to say before we, uh, no, 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 goat oh, meal, no. God. <laughs> <laughs> Not the tongue, goat meal, no. no. Put it away. No. <laughs> Can we leave this island kindly? <laughs> yeah, been here for too long. Oh. Need to get out of here. I guess so. So everyone, hopefully y'all enjoyed. Thank you, everyone, yep. for playing. And uh, we'll yeah, continue next welcome. week with more. And uh, see you then. Yeah, bye. bye. Oh, I'm going to go die. <laughs>